Yo, 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 Mikey Fever just got up. I don't know what happened. We started talking <laughs> about Diddy. We we talking about Diddy claiming Mount Vernon now or Harlem? Harlem, he, man. He Harlem. He I'm not. Bronx, he not bro. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> man. We ain't gonna throw him out. Nah, man. You see the way he dressed? You see he got the little Dougie Fresh dance? Come yeah. on, man. He got the Dougie <laughs> Fresh with dance. He doing it up. What block he from? He ain't from Harlem. <laughs> Yo, look, Harlem in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yo. Hey, yo, look, yo, yo, hey, yo look, y'all talking about uh, you know, you want to get in with the the suspect lyrics that Puffy say. How about the suspect lyrics Biggie said when Biggie said the girl looks so good, I want to suck on a daddy joint. Whoa, and I couldn't believe. I was like, what? I had an answer for that, Mikey from Brooklyn, bro. Hey, yo, look, man. I I'm a pocket fan. Girls, man. They the man, had man, that, the man said, I got sweat treat. I got my. I got techniques dripping out my butt cheeks. Lay on my stomach so I don't fuck up my sheets. That's what you made the big said. What the? <laughs> <laughs> what the? And he damn sure did too, man. Hey, all right, y'all. Y'all want to talk about craziness? How about Cam? Your mom mobbing and raping Saudi Arabia. Come on, bro. What was that about? Nah, nah, that ain't nothing, bro. Nah, nah, what is that? Cam the biggie. No, no. We ain't talking about Cam now. Your mom mobbing and raping a Saudi Arabia. Yo, look, we ain't talking about Cam now, man. We talking about the Puff Daddy campaign, his little crew. Uh, yeah, yeah. Little rainbow around there. You know Come what I'm saying? Man. Yeah, man. He, you know, you know, but yeah, they were saying a lot of suspect stuff, man. You know? A yeah, lot of joints, man. How about DMX? DMX? Or your man's been in jail before I could suck my... <laughs> yeah, yeah, and hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know where DMS got that from, and I always trust because I was locked up with him. I'm like, yo, homie, I know you wasn't doing that on the jail. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you got me twisted. Like, oh, yo, I, I, yo, that that right there threw me off. Yo, but, real, uh, real, man. I'm gonna figure out why does K Born Mike has feedback. It's like, something you got an echo, right? Yeah. I don't know why he got no echo in. Come on, man. Wait, wait, wait! Kick it, kick it right now, K boy. I think, I think that was clips, Mike. One, two, one, two. Mike, Mike, Mike. Go ahead, go ahead, Mike. Uh, uh, uh. Yo, uh. yo. One, hey, two, boy. one, two. Still, yeah. Anyway, let's let's keep it going, man. Let's keep the ball rolling. We're talking about Biggie. We're talking about. Uh, yeah, somebody got they join on loud because I can hear you echoing too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me pause mine for mine. <laughs> Let me mute my mic. <laughs> there ain't no more pauses, man. No diddy. No diddy. No diddy. No diddy. Yeah, I think. Okay, that might have been. Yeah, that's that's Mike's mic. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we 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 going back in. We talking about uh. Oh no, we're not going back in. Nah, no diddy. Time out. Time out. Yo, so check it. Uh, we're talking about. <laughs> we're talking about diddy. Yo, man, that whole thing that happened with Diddy, that's going on with Diddy, is sounds crazy. First of all, I want to start off from the beginning with him, uh, uh, his dreams and aspirations of becoming a uh, uh, an executive. You know, with um, uh, Andre Harrell Uptown, and he was basically Andre Harrell's protege. Now, protege. Now, oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> so he he's Andre Harrell's protege, right? Now, what was going on between him and Andre Harrell? Let me be the answer to that. Well, Andre Harrell's the one who got puffing all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because Andre Harrell always was a little weird. Remember, he had the Doctor Jekyll with Mister Hyde. So, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Let's go back to that. You know what I'm saying? He was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. High. You see him in the nighttime, he was a rapper. You see him in the daytime, he was the businessman with the three-piece suits and all this and that on. Right. Well, from what the uh, rumor was with Kim Porter was that she walked up in there and Puff was giving that man a head in the bathroom. So that's allegedly was the rumor that, that means was what she had on him. And then I heard that in return, Puff did that same thing on the other people 
was saying that, uh, and I heard the saying that he was saying was that if you got power, you could make another man suck your joint. Oh, that and, was the thing? Yeah, and that's showing power. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So that was allegedly what he was throwing out there and was running on brothers and a couple of brothers that I don't want to throw their name out there because they put them out of the uh, the game, man. And they was brothers that was really was doing it. And so them rumors came out. Them rumors came out like in the 90s. This ain't no 2000 rumors or nothing now. This 90 rumors and put them brothers out. You know what I'm saying? Wait, hold up. So Clip, you know about that? Yeah, I heard a little rumors back in the day about Puff and his and, and the gay antics and all of that from back then. A couple, a few rappers, few a few rappers. I can't say everybody's names, but it's a few rappers out there that I've heard some stories on from back then. Yeah, because don't forget, uh, when they were saying who's the gay rapper, that was back in the two thousand. Yeah, that was actually that was nineties. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm not gonna sit here and, and speculate, but back then the word was it was Eric Sermon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I remember that. that back one. then. I don't Shook know how was that, that was the word back Knight, then. Yo, Shook Knight was saying that, though. Shook Knight was like, uh, but they was like, yo, man, why you don't want EPMD down with you? He was like, nah, man, them dudes, that dude, uh, Eric Sherman's a fruitcake, man. You know what I'm saying? So Shook Knight threw that out there back in the day. Hey, what what, what uh, Arnold Bay is saying on, on the chat? I can't see from here. You can't hear your mic, Mike. Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. Yeah, he said he's saying Little Rod, a foreign producer and videographer for Diddy, filed a lawsuit in New York federal court alleging that the rapper previously sexually harassed, drugged, and threatened him. <laughs> yeah, but he also said that Diddy's son did it to some female, too. You know, you dragging yourself down is one thing. When you start dragging your kids down, you know, that, and that go down for the brothers that be all uh, hustling. And you want to make your kid a baby drug deal. I done seen it happen. And them kids end up in jail all their life. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You in a gang and you, well, you don't put my kid down with it. All right, you was the dude who knew how to gang bang. You put your kid down with the gang, the kid dead. Or your kid in jail, your kill. You, you know, we seen that in, in uh, with OG Bobby Johnson. Man, you see what they doing to your kid out there, man? You know what I'm saying? Same thing they did to you. So, you know, when you dragging your kid into something that you're doing, it's crazy, man. You know, unless it's something legal and it's something that you're doing that's positive. You're doing something negative, man. It's bad enough you doing it. They all uh, drag your kid in it, man. And he got in that lawsuit that he seen Puff Daddy's kid allegedly drug a female and took advantage of her too. So you know that's alleged, alleged, but mm -hmm. you know, well, I want to cable. I want to take things from now as the born, right? So start from the from the beginning, right? So like. Okay, so we, we, we y'all were talking about the rumors and all of that in the nineties and everything like that, right? And you said Andre Harrell basically groomed Puffy, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, when I used to work at Sixty Third Street Equinox in the gym, the thing about the gym is you meet everybody, bro. Mm -hmm. Like all, like all the celebrities you could possibly think of be in them gyms. Now I met Clive Davis and Clive Davis's boyfriend. Now, yeah. Hey yo, look, hey, yo, look, let me say one thing. I'm not gonna cut you off. Let me say one thing real quick. Hold on, but you also know when you work in them gyms that certain gyms people go in there, and that's not the gym for you. Well, what you mean? Like some gyms is just not the gyms. Some gyms is for the gyms for the brothers in there and the people that's getting in there. Some gyms is just all rainbow. The hookup spot. Yeah, well, like I need, I do, I need to do an episode yeah. on the, the gyms. Do like, cause check this yeah. out. Because I had a membership to the uh, Exodus one time, and it was a couple of them joints that I had to. Uh, I ain't coming back to this one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, like in the gym that I was in, right, that that I worked in, <laughs> I met Clive Davis and his boyfriend. Right now, Clive Davis, uh, I'm gonna say alleged alleged boyfriend alleged boyfriend clive davis basically groomed andre harrell right yeah. yeah yeah so my thing is i heard quincy jones was doing a lot of that too allegedly quincy jones yeah. clip, you know you know anything about this clip look at your boy tell me um, put it out there that quincy jones was out here you know 
on his on his. That's a fact. He wrote him a letter. Yeah, and Pac ain't gonna be out here just throwing no lies. I, I don't know if clip on the line from Pac's song made. He said, "Take a dollar and I kidnap your daughter." Kill your wife and hit the funeral and tell you who gave yeah, me the order. Just gave the order, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a lot of stuff that been going on, man. Especially with the manipulation of you know it all. It all go back to manipulating the young, the young people, man. You know what I'm saying? You're already robbing them for their money, you're robbing them for their publishing, you are robbing them for you know what I'm saying for for their like and, and their likeness and, and, and everything that they got, and now you robbing them out of their manhood. But what is the science? I mean, the science. What is the the crazy? What is that about though? Like, what what is the what is the point of it? Is it just like the industry is just gay? Is that what it is? Like, what it is is you trying to please the other. You know what I'm saying? When when it was done, when all the brothers was there, it wasn't doing that. You heard brothers saying, "My business hours is nine to five. Nine to five is my business hours. That's what the brothers was in control." When they started all that, and it go way back to when we started, uh, and we was on the job, and they had all uh, the, the the dude Barry Watts. Once he came in, that dude done robbed more dudes than any dude that's in any jail. Doing nobody, of uh, uh, no matter how much time they doing, that's the guy that that owned Job Records. So you know, they, hold hold on, he said uh, Rage on the base said Ray J got herpes from P Diddy. They're saying, oh, a legend. They're also saying, Usher did too. True that is. I ain't gonna just, I ain't gonna run with that one, but that's crazy. That's Allegedly, they saying Usher did too, man. You know. Oh, I heard about that too. Yeah, his moms had to pick him up in the hospital and all that. You know, so it's just a lot of things with this dude named that been flying out there for years. And then you know, like I was speaking to my sister before we got on, and I was telling her, you even got like when Cassidy, Cassie put her lawsuit out. She said he broke her nose in front of his mother. The other female said he chipped her tooth and did all this in front of her mom, in front of his mother. And I was like, man, if I would have swung on a girl in front of my mom's, my mom's and the girl would have jumped me. My mom's jumping me, period. That ain't going down. So if you got to be like, you know, you breaking females' noses and all that in front of your mother. Like, you just ruthless, boy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, K-Born, you... you K born and clip. Your bro you both of you brothers have been in the industry. Have y'all seen any kind of weird stuff or anything like that? Nah, I ain't seen too. I haven't seen anything weird, me personally. Um, but I think all the extra super extra two super duper tough niggas that be trying to act tough, I just think they get. Cause you're trying too hard to be tough. Yeah, you put too much out there. Yeah, I feel like this, man. Whenever you go somewhere, if you look at all of us. We all got different type of facial hairs, right? But we all got some type of facial hairs. When you get in the, and get around these dudes, you've never seen grown men. Except for you see, the, you know, the Caucasians, that's they style. You've never seen grown black men. They got nothing, man. They look like they just born. They look like they just came from Attica in the chest of the molester program. I, 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 can, I I'm I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of agree to and disagree at the same time because um it's like, like the LL, LL got that look boy like that's just LL but LL been have we not talking about LL LL, 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 been, LL, LL out of this LL been out of this we talking about the dudes LL ain't never had fish you here that's just LL we talking about the dudes that was born again roughnecks that was running around here doing all that you had the, probably the dreads you probably had dreads on your bed and all that. And now we seeing you and your joint just butterball soft. Yeah, you look like a crazy. Butt naked. <laughs> you look like you ain't even got a mustache. Now you know that's illegal in the black community, man. You ain't got no mustache on me. Illegal. You know that's what I'm saying? Pedo vibes. Look, yo, look, if you shave and accidentally cut your mustache, you can't come outside for two weeks. Nah, I cut my shit. I cut my joint. I, I my joint is always clean, actually. It just grew yeah. it out a little bit because I was sick. But it there's a there's a reason why I cut it off, though. There's is is there's a reason. Yeah, it's you like, know what I'm saying? Usually somebody have a job, you in the army, or maybe for some, you know, you may be for your religious business. Just it's it's bad, but business. You're doing business and trying to get new growth. You ain't slick. It's, it's a it's a business it's a business. <laughs> I, I I bet for Ron, it's it's you, your mic cut off, Mike. You off. Wow. Yeah, I heard you there. Can you can you hear me now? 
yeah. yeah, yeah. I say for Ron and he, other brothers that have knowledge of self, some of them follow that like Elijah Muhammad's program to keep your, you know, your yeah. facial hair clean to be presentable. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, y'all, like, like, all your question. What's up? Why did Puff Daddy have tunnels and all that in his house, man? Allegedly. Yo, I, don't know, I don't know if he bought the house like that. Or if he ain't bought no house like that. That's the Epstein. Don't forget, every time you hear these freaky stories at these freaky parties, there's always a freaky down, a, a tunnel or something of love. Yeah, because I know the tunnel was found in the L.A. crib. I didn't hear any stories about the New York crib or the uh, the, the Miami crib. So, so even you got me. a tunnel and you got the and you running immigrants underground, or you got a tunnel. Why you got a tunnels, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on here, homie? Yo, what's the tunnels about, though? What's that, though? Epstein had tunnels. We find out. Epstein had tunnels so we downstairs in the bottom of his house, too. But, like, big, let's bring it back to the knowledge. So, like, in the beginning, when 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 Puff was dealing with uh, Andre Harrell, did they, were they involved, though? Do you, anybody, does anybody have any facts on that? According to Kim Porter, she said she walked in the bathroom in a club when she first met Puffy. Mm -hmm. and that's what her Andre Rail told him that yo you got power you can make a boom boom and she caught them in the act and that's and why she I still rock, but she still rock with him after she yeah. saw him Felicia? you gotta figure like this if I'm just nobody and I'm in the club and this, these two dudes is big somebody you know she's a female they two big somebodies and you know she probably was rapping to him anyway before she you know seen all that but now after they seen all that, they just buttering her up with all the gifts in the world. You know, it's a little hard to uh, break out when your whole intentions was going there to meet a dude to get some money anyway. But you know but what I, I'm saying? I, I kind of disagree, though, because she procreated with the man. You know what I'm saying? How can yeah. you lay down next to somebody? Well, that's later on in life, man. That's later yeah, but, on in life. She but, did all but, that. But, she probably but like, prior. The, the psychology you know, is to lay down next to somebody who does the things that you do. That's kind of sick. Like, guess what, oh, baby? You know, I sucked the dick today. Oh, you too? That's kind of sick. <laughs> like, well, you know. really, all right, when you really look at it, when you really look at people that's queer, who they always hang out with, who they best friend is, females. So she ain't got nothing on me. She ain't, she ain't, she ain't mad. She ain't mad. You can see, yo, nobody on the block may like him. You know, nowadays they're jail there, but back in the days, what? Nobody don't like who he hanging out with. All the bad females, and they'll jump you right now for him. Well, let's talk about uh, Diddy's suspect, like everybody who was around him. Who, uh, uh, hold on, one second. Yeah, why stay there and know it exactly? Why stay there and know it? That's what I'm saying. Like, that's so that's why Susu. I want to try to figure out. I want to verify what you're saying. But everybody is not against that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't against it. That's why they got a whole community. That's why they got rights. That's why they got more rights than me and you. Everybody is not against that. We may be, or some other people may be, but that's not, you know, every, everybody ain't against it. To some people, yo, to each his own. You know what I'm saying? We see like most of the people, the guys that be having all the all uh, the, the transvestite dudes, and, and they'll tell you all back, yo, I'm not, I'm not gay, I'm married. They just dress like that. It was just they fetish to have the apples and all that, they hat and all that, but they, you know, they married. So sometimes these things are acceptable in a relationship. Mm. It may be I'm weird to us, but you know. Be in a relationship and it be, they be already so deep in it by the time they found they oh. find out that homeboy look, caught up like this or whatever this is, whatever you know, shit people got going on. Look at swing clubs. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and then you don't know what he probably told. He probably told you, I came in here broke. I'm going to buy you a brand new band. The ball. Yeah, they were screaming, oh, Will wow. Smith was this for a while. Yeah. They were screaming, uh, Johnny Gill was this for a minute. They were screaming, Eddie Murphy had some parts in this in a minute. They were screaming, Oh, oh yeah, I remember that. I you know, remember that. Yo, I'm gonna tell y'all this though. Like, being uh, like I said, being at that gym on 63rd Street in Lexington Equinox, bro, I've seen some weird stuff. Like, I've seen some really super masculine dudes I used to see every single day. Uh, uh, my man, I don't want to say his name, but he used to clean up the bathroom and all of that. Uh, he used to clean up the the um the restroom and all of that. And he'll come out and go, "Yo, bro, a lot's going on back there." And I'm like, "You'd be like, what you mean?" 
He's like, yo, you know, son, that that big dude, Diesel, like a lot of sword fighting, the big Diesel dude. <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, Ron, yo, ben yo, you know yo Ron, yo, they had sword fights I, back there. Bro, <laughs> like, yo, it goes down in the gym, son. I'm telling you, like, <laughs> on the real, like, yo, I can't go. Like, if you, like, in the the, the saunas and all of that, and the steam room yo. and all of that, stay, like, it, it depend on the gym. Stay out of them joints, B. See what I say? <laughs> yo, yo, look, when I was living in Harlem, I had a pass to the Exodus. I had an Exodus gym joint. And it was certain of them joints that I went to one time. Like, nah, I ain't coming back here. And, and you know what I'm saying? And I'm I, I'm not going back there. Because, you know, once you got the pass, that was like you could go wherever you at. Yeah. And I'm working in the Source magazine, so I'm all the way downtown. I live in Harlem, so I'm all in between Manhattan. Believe me, bro, you will find one that you're going to go to, and that's the one that you're going to stick in. Yeah. Pause, pause, pause. Yeah. Pause. Yo, no diddy. No diddy. No no diddy. <laughs> yeah, hey, yo, look, but you know, yo, but it's crazy, though, man. You know, we got to, uh, it, 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 this been going on before the rap game, because the rap game, it, just, it wasn't into that. But before this, it really started in the, with the comedians. I don't know, cause Ben Bottle was out here wild. Yeah, <laughs> yo, look, yeah. Out. <laughs> hey, yo, clip. Ben Bottle wasn't out here before they made uh Flip Wilson turn to Gerald Dean. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good point, bro. All right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So you know, so, so they really was hitting with the with the comedy, you know, with, with the comedians making all of them. You think? You think? Hey, 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 boy, do you, you, you think they had? Made. You think it had something to do with drugs? Huh? You think it has something to do with drugs, like cocaine and all that? Quaaludes. Yeah. They were doing that Quaaludes. They were the same thing that's going on right now. Quaaludes supposedly was there to relax the anus muscles. Y'all, come on, man. (laughs) Ah, (laughs) Come on, man. No diddy, bro. Come on, no diddy. I'm just saying, that's the word. That's that's the history. No, but what, what, what he's saying is true because... You know, before it was called AIDS, it was called a grid. Remember that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And they were into taking heavy drugs at Studio 54. And they were getting wild with that. Yeah, but people still taking heavy drugs. So that don't that, that don't have nothing to do with your actions. Yeah, but we ain't talking about crack. They taking they taking them euphoric drugs that had yeah. in a whole nother space somewhere else. Yeah, All yeah, you drug you users, y'all better y'all yeah, better y'all yeah, better straighten before it up, man. There, before <laughs> before you got there, there, you knew what was going on. So you was going down there with those soul intentions. Oh, yo, I'm about to go down here, yo. You know that party, man. We gonna freak off, man. Go boom, y'all. We gonna get twisted. You already know what was going on. First of all, if I walk in a party, yeah, you know what I'm saying. If I walk in a party and I see people, even if it's men and women, if I see I just in here butt ass just boning, I'm yeah, out of here. I'm out. I'm yeah. Some yeah. 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 yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You know, I've been to a couple of joints where you know it ain't. I ain't got nothing to do with it. You know, so I've been to a couple of beaches <laughs> where like, oh, anybody on the whole beach is naked. I ain't got you know you is what you ain't <laughs> yours open to. But if you go on the pub daddy party, boy, you gonna be in the sup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better you better be careful. No. And yeah, man, but uh, you know, like like I said, you know, when they start forcing things on, and that's what they be doing. So it's like, and that's why it, it becomes a crime. Mm-hmm. If people is getting into what adults is going, what they want to do, that's between them. But when you dangling somebody career in front of them, or you dangling, uh, you know, oh. this contract in front of them, and, and yo, I'm a black boy, you, if this don't happen, or oh, I'm going to do this, allow this to happen, if this do happen. That's where it become an issue where your police start getting involved with somebody. Hey, yo, because that's really a form of extortion. You know, you're just doing it for sexual needs instead of for money. You know what I'm saying? But at the same token, it's a crime, man. And that's what they be doing, you know, allegedly, what it seemed like. Yeah. So basically. Hey, yo, all I know is one thing. I've been making rest for 30 years, right? They don't be inviting us to the tours. And they'll be invited. Like, so evidently, and I always, I always thought it because we ain't, you know, don't be the brothers that was partying with the, you know, the nose candy and all that. But it could have been also we ain't the brothers who, you know, and all that too. Because it's always the same people, if you notice, going on tours. It's always the same people doing this. It's always the same people in the pictures. It's always so that's the same people that's that's in the lawsuit now, later on in life. So we already see why they was blowing up. No, did it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So basically, the making of the band, they got off lucky by walking for some cheesecake. 
You see, he didn't find they him attractive enough. <laughs> so he like, you know, just walk for some cheesecake. And, 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 and don't forget, a lot of them dudes was hardcore. A lot of them dudes were making the band was hardcore dudes. It was hardcore street dudes. So they wanted to beat Puff up and all that anyway. Just for him be, put, making them go through all that. So he most definitely knew that they wasn't the ones to try to try that on. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the one. Hey, Cliff, I mean, hey, Cliff. So, so what's, your, what's your take on all of this? He ain't lying. I mean, I've been around a few bad boys, you know, cats from Bad Boy Camp and all of that. I ain't seen no, 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 no homosexual activities. Not, not in front of me. I don't think, I don't think they would do it in the studio and all that. I, they, whatever parties they got going on, I don't even want to participate in that because that's that's they parties. I don't, I'm, I'll smack shit out of one of these. Like I ain't with none of this. Yeah, I want to party with you. Like I already no, like, I'm good. Really party, good. Man. I don't like, want to party. I want a party party. party. I want a party party. Like you no, know, we in I Vegas right Puff, now. I heard about Puff parties. You know, how his parties was out of control back then. But didn't Tigger say that they had like Chippendale men in there with the yeah, bow ties and all much, that? Yeah, all now, that. first of all, if I go to your party, if I go to any one of y'all three parties, right? Yeah. And some dudes come out with some bow ties on, your homie, I'm gonna feel offended. Now I see if they came out, you know, like it's a little routine. They got the girls with all them, and they going, and and the girls is over here, and, and it's dudes over here. But all of us is in there, it's just basically dudes. Like, why we got these dudes in here with bow ties on, man? You know, butterball naked. I just don't get that part. You know, I'm gonna take you shopping. Like he, like he wanted to take um. As Sue said, he want to take fifty shopping. Let me take. Go we'll Playboy. We'll go to. We gonna go to Tiffany's right now. We just walk out. You know, they send us an invoice. Let me take you shopping. Hey yo, man, you sound like him too, man. Nah, <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 when Puff Daddy come, he be in the interview. When he come, as soon as he open his mouth, everybody be like, like, I hope this motherfucker don't say nothing to me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, I hope that. I did not. I that. hope he don't talk to me, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be like, yes. <laughs> and then once he start, everybody be like, because they already know the things that come out of his mouth is not really with how, you know. Pause. Yo. How men, you know what I'm saying? Like, Men don't like <laughs> you don't greet each other and all that. Like, yo, what up, daddy? Hey, yo, yeah. man, you looking good. You know, you in the pool, you chilling. You good, like, daddy. You, off. you know, you cooling. <laughs> yo, 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 K Vaughn, you got you can't don't front. Meek Mill looks suspect in that joke. Yeah, nah, he didn't look suspect. Yo, hold, hold on, K Vaughn. K Vaughn, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. K Vaughn, that brother, Meek Mill was in the pool, cooling sure. off his booty hole. Yes, he was. Yo, <laughs> whoa. Yo, listen, yo, listen. Check it out, brother. Check it out. Check it out. He was in the pool he, he was just like any, like, like, like any one of us would be in the pool, shirt off, he cooling. And nah, so I wouldn't be like that. Nah, and nah. And nah. Start making like, him feel uncomfortable. Nah, nah you're not call me daddy, man. man. You don't like know like how to act happened like. happened like. before that, 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 I don't know what happened at that pool. I know Meek was looking like he wasn't trying to respond to him. Yeah, man. Like, nobody he looked hurt. Nobody he looked hurt. He looked him, hurt. Bro. That's what I'm saying. He was like this. Just, yeah, man. Just, you know, just chilling. <laughs> yo, he looked <laughs> like he got a beard, yo, 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 look. Mikey overdoing it. Mikey looking like a victim. He said, yo, yeah. <laughs> That's how he looked on that <laughs> pool. Like, like, like he needed a towel. Like, Damn, man, like, oh, yo, yo, I'm a hype, yo, what, what about that verse? Uh, Lord, forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Uh, got was it? that AI? Wait up, wait up. First of all, we know he ain't kill nobody. So was that all AI? You for that. Now, what did y'all do? Well, it could be AI. A Chinese way. Hold it on, could be. hold on, hold on, K. Born. That's what I'm saying, K. Born. He ain't do nothing. So what else did he do with Diddy? Oh, that God need to forgive you. Yeah. Cause you know Diddy ain't doing rice at a Chinese wedding, so it wasn't no type of they took no life or nothing. Exactly. So let hold on, I want to pull that lyric up. Oh man, cause you cause yo, my yo Ron, it's probably with AI. It was probably AI. Lord it, forgive me. It could be AI. What I did with Diddy? You think that's AI? 
I believe so. It probably it's probably AI. Nah. Man, I know he said the girl looks so good, I can suck on a daddy joint. That was, that big, was AI. Uh, that was him. Biggie was just, I don't know, bro. That was just Biggie's just over. Just I don't line. know. That's but like, yo, but listen, you see what this does? Rest in peace to Big Biggie Smalls. Yeah, now I love Biggie Smalls. This man. makes you question raps. All right. No disrespect. I love Mob Deep. Godfather 3. Spit Prodigy's verse. What are you saying? Live wide right behind me in the... <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> right behind. Hold on, hold on. Kick, kick what you're saying? Because I don't know what you're saying. Godfather 3. Now, yeah. I was brought up to have no fear. Live wide right behind me in the rear. <laughs> Like it make it makes you question lyrics now. Like yo, you be like, what? The oh fuck? nah, nah, nah. <laughs> no nah. disrespect to Prodigy. No disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I love. Who was in the back? He meant by you know. The yeah, I know, back. I know that. But you see how you sick know, it is. Yo, you know, yo, you know they was rolling 40 D crew back there. Yeah. yeah. You know? but, no uh, disrespect, I but know, it I understand what you're saying. Pop just made everything a little suspicious. Yeah, and man. You know, like, look, when he was on the Nori joint, you see how uncomfortable. And then, yo, you got to figure these dudes are younger than us, man. So you know, you know, if we was that young, how we would feel. So he made everybody in that room feel uncomfortable, especially Fab. Mm -hmm. Fab, like, yo, you know, he throwing it off. Like, yo, I already party with you, bro. Yo, I'm talking about me and you. Party, party. All right, like, where you, where you going at with this, man? Like, we party, party. Like, I done been with you. We done drunk 100 bottles. It was girls there. We was smoking weed. We was dancing. Like, nah, I'm talking about me and you. One-on-one, -on -one, party, party. Well, I would have been like, listen, it's past my curfew. I can't. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a family man. I got to go home, bro. So I don't know what kind of party you talking about. Sure, yo, dog, I feel uncomfortable. Can you stop asking me these questions? Yeah, man. Like, yo, word up. Like, yo, you making me feel uncomfortable, man. Like, very, very, very uncomfortable, homie. Like, you know what I'm saying? You like, it's semi, oh, why you say that? Because you rapping to me, it seems like, man. How about him singing happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Yeah, he did the, uh, yeah, that was real. the road joint. I'm like, bro, like, you're a grown man. Yo, I I don't even tell my pops happy birthday like that. It's like a nah. yo, happy birthday pop. That's it. None of that extra. No, yeah, no. extra shit. Yeah. I don't my even call my father. Me, yo, my daughters will call me singing. My yeah, son I, I, call me like yo, happy birthday pop. I don't yeah. want to hear him sing, man. You ain't Luther. You know I don't, don't even call my that. pops daddy. I don't even call my pops dad. I never call my pops daddy a day in my life. Yeah. Yo, what up, pop? Yeah. It was never. Come on, bro. Yo, yo, daddy, you looking good. Now, I, I get it back then. That's how the guys talk back then. Yo, you cool, daddy, yo, and all that. But they ain't saying well, daddy, you look good. Totally daddy, yo, right? Daddy. That was like an old, different. Yeah. It was like an old, like, yo, old shit, what up, daddy, yo? Yeah, you know, but I'm like, daddy, yo, daddy, you looking well, good, it daddy. Never, it was never, yo, what up, daddy? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yo, daddy, me and you going out, daddy, you would have been in a fight, man. I mean, yeah. I remember the locks was, locks was using that slang, like, what's up, daddy? Yeah. You good, daddy? Like, nah, I, nah, I, yeah. But you only ran on, like, you know, the cool dude, you know, extra cool mama came. Yo, what up, daddy? Yo, woo, we, what up, yeah. player? You know, what up? You know, it was a word for like player, what up? And you know, the certain people, you know, he had that little flow he came through, but it yeah. was never, and you ain't go on with it after that. The first green, you went on. He wasn't, yeah, daddy, I'm saying, when we gonna hang out, daddy. When I'm talking about me and you, chill, daddy, one on one, daddy. Like, come on, man. Come on. Wait, so, hold on. So, so with this whole Diddy situation, right? So, I saw a picture with French Montana basically spooning Diddy. Did you see that? It was a whole bunch of them. It was like four of them in that picture. They probably just cut them two out, but it was like four of them. They had the tropical suits on and all that. Yeah, I seen that, man. Yeah. I, I, like it was see that. Yeah. I probably did see that. Was that, that was at Jay Z party. That was at the Rock, the Rock Nation party. <laughs> Yo, true. why they were up on? Why was French Montana up on his booty like that, though? Oh, come Listen, on, bro. I, don't bro, 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 don't do that, bro. I was little bro. baby. Hey, yo, look. <laughs> why I was that. little baby when he was giving one brother like, "Oh, yo, what up, my dude? You gave a brother a hug." Now you could come through and have a group hug, you know, with all of you know, but all that got to be a circle. Like, yo, what up, yo, yo? Yeah. We don't do sandwiches, man. We nah. grown men. You know what I'm saying? You don't get on the back of another brother. I'm giving you, yo, what up, bro? I ain't seen you in a long time, bro. No, brother, come give both of us like, yo, homie, what is... Hey, I hold my hat for a minute, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hold my hat, man. Yo, like, yo, what's going on back here, boy? You got you to, no, like, like William said, you got to tell Diddy no sometimes. You got to uppercut him. Like, yo, bro, bro, listen. See, but games we play, you know, like me, like, I done been in, like, a lot of group homes before. Like I said, you know, I was... Uh, incarcerated state, federal, county. The games we play and the games the Caucasian play is different. You feel me? Like, they play games that we just don't play. 
and it's all fun and games with them, but you couldn't do that with a brother. Yeah, because if you watch Jackass, they play a yeah. lot of homosexual games in there. Yeah, I mean, they, yo, look, and they do it in jail, too. You be in jail, they run it by a brother, got a towel, slap another white brother on the butt, and that's all fun and games in they race. You do that to a brother and see how many times you're going to get stabbed. He's not going to turn around and laugh. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They play them games, though. And, 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 and don't be nothing uh, homosexual about it. That's just the way that they be playing and the way they be talking. Speak, hey, yo, man, yeah, yeah, suck my such, such, and such, man. You're a cocksucker. And we don't play them games. You tell a brother, suck your private part, it's on and popping. Oh, yeah, for sure. But for them, it ain't nothing. Hey, Billy, come over here, man. Billy, this cocksucker right here, he just came and said. But that's acceptable with them. You know what I'm saying? But now, when these dudes that had the, the ability, like like the big, I'm, I'm putting it out there, all the hip hop executives that was of color, either they were the ones that went wrong, they in jail, or they dead, or they fruity. Because mm -hmm. they went there and wanted to go to the next level. We was good with just grinding yeah. and doing what we do in the hip hop community. Like, you know, the hip hop is like the street. These brothers want to be the brothers to be the first hip hop millionaire. In the first hop hip hop billionaire, how the hell you getting a billion dollars in hip hop, man? Where you doing some strange for some change, bro? We ain't stupid. We've been making records since the eighties, the seventies. Curtis Blow ain't even got a private jet, and he ain't stopped making records since he started, and he's still hot, and he's still in churches, he's still over here, and he's still doing all this. Why these dudes got so much money? Because they doing things. Outside of hip hop, business they investments, the billionaires. They run around the billionaires, and oh, I got friends that's millionaires. If my friends is millionaires, that's slapping me on the butt <laughs> and giving me sandwiches and sandwich hugging me, I would rather hang out with my dudes that's dollarnaires, man. Yo, giving me sandwiches might be the, the illest term. In the yeah. <laughs> You know, like what you doing, homie? You know, you know, you done lost your rabbit picking mind, man. You know, even as one of your boys, it's bad you got pulled to the side. Like, yo, homie, you get hurt with something like that. Don't run up on another dude. I know you want to greet him, but wait till he turn around, bro. <laughs> and then greet that man like you know, I say, greet me like a man. You know what I'm saying? They, they high five like this. They high five like this. Yeah, yeah. Like, what's going on? So a lot of this come from <laughs> him trying to. It's a lot of this come from greed. Oh, I want to get a million dollars before I earn a million dollars. I want to get ten million dollars so I can come back to the other rappers and show them who I am. Yo, ain't then, no money worth my butthole getting 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 ripped. Nah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, hey, yo, you might look like this. Look, look, look at the pattern they're going, Clip. This is the same pattern the old school was doing with the Melly Mel's and all them. When they oh, got down, he went there. But check it out, but check it out now. When they got down, but it wasn't sexual. It oh, was wow. robbed, they wasn't robbing them of their manhood. They was robbing them of everything that they ever had, of their music, of everything. These dudes was going around knowing that they got jerked at uh at Sugar Hill Records. And they was bringing all the other groups there saying, yo, I'm going to get y'all the same deal I got. And they was getting them the 100% same deal they got. What was the deal? You get jerked, brother. So it's the same Pause. Thing. Can't you use that walk. word either. <laughs> yeah, so, so, you know, so, so, so right now you got these brothers, you know, you making records. Like I've been making records since the 80s. I ain't got all that. So I'll be a perfect example. I'm going to use myself as an example. Hey, yo, man, how y'all brothers getting all this money? How your brothers doing all this? Hey, yo, man, boom, boom, boom. Yo, bring you down to the ultimate party, man. When you get there, when you leave here, man, you're going to be on. Well, I've been down for 30 years. I'm still making records and all that. What's going on? You getting a party? Next thing you know, you're in the middle of a whole bunch of other things, man. And if you want to stay in the crowd of these dudes, then you're going to get in and do what they're doing. But if you want to be yourself and come on out, and have to go through the 30 years like me, you go <laughs> get up out the room. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I wanna know, I'm trying to figure doors. out who, who you, do you think Biggie, you think Biggie participated in some No. Way? I don't know. I don't know. I know a lot of lines he said it was wild. Yo, Heavy D was around all of this too. 
No, I know, 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 know this, man. Yeah. A lot of them brothers changed. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> a lot of them brothers changed once they got down with Puff Daddy. I mean, brothers came in hardcore. And uh, when they was after he was finished, either they was like softcore or they was dead. Yo, what's the death around this dude? Man? It's the terms you're using. I'm sorry, bro. It's, with this situation, you gotta be careful with the words. <laughs> they just say they came a little rugged and left a little meek. Yeah, me. man. Because <laughs> you know, a lot of these, you know, the brothers came in hardcore, you know, a lot of them. But you know, you, and you try to ask yourself, why everybody keep leaving the label, but they blowing up, you know, up yo, no diddy. But you know, the label was is, is getting rising, but they people was leaving. Like what happened to the hit makers? What happened to these? What happened to them? What happened to them? Like what's going on here? You know, I like just, I said, my I, man. I just got questions for a lot of uh, a lot of dudes that was um, hip hop dudes that just had a lot of suspect lines in their rhymes. Be like, DMX said, "I rip your butthole out of place." Like that was out of control. Like, Yo, yeah, yeah, DMX was saying a lot of kind. Yeah, he was saying a lot of stuff, man. He was getting outrageous, man. <laughs> he was crazy. Big is the king of it, but. But DMX was saying some wild yeah, shit. Yeah, man. And you got to figure that, you know, I, like I said, I've been making records since for 30 years. When you rapping, you really expressing yourself. You really saying what you're going through and things that's happening, things that you're seeing. So for them to be putting that out, you know, in the lyrics that's in there, those lyrics is lyrics that you actually seen, you actually did, you actually something. Because, you know, you just don't just make up a lyric. You know what I'm saying? Like some people do, but very seldom you do. You gotta have some type of connection to it. Yeah, because you can't yeah, say like you say you look so good. I even said him over the bridge. Like what? Well, like, it's that again, clip. Biggie said, "Don't you know my nigga got to fucking kidnap kids? Fuck him in the ass, throw him over the bridge." Yeah, that's how it is. Nah, 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 nah. That's not how it is, man. Not about how it is. That's not how it is, bro. I don't know nobody who never said that. That's the way it is. You know what I'm saying? I got blood on my hand because there's no remorse. I got blood on my because I'm a corpse. I'm a nasty nigga. <laughs> Boy, what are we talking about? Like... <laughs> but I think you know what it is. Th th there was a point when dudes were doing um, shock value rap, shock value rap, gothic rap. What they call that again? Yeah, yeah I know ho horrorcore. Yeah, horrorcore. Yeah, so sometimes yeah. I think yeah, that wasn't my type of I yeah. Yeah, see, but, we, bro, but when you come out and say it's horrorcore, you ain't say it's hardcore, and then you going into this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's something you may expect if you, you if that's the type of music you're listening to. Like you watch a a, a, a sci-fi movie or something, and you, you know what you're expecting. You're gonna see all this crazy stuff, but you don't want to watch the the see Friday on that channel. Right, but you know, um, when, when uh DMX said, uh, "I got blood on my hand" and all that, remember that that uh, remember that album? He was covered in blood, and he had Marilyn Manson on that yeah, album. First my first yeah. brother, my first so he was album. still he was going that horror core lane yeah. a little. You ain't bit. going to have horror core, man. When you got blood on you and all that. That's called you call that's that sacrifice. DMX also oh, said, "If you if you got a daughter under seventeen, I'm a raper." Woo. That's what, that's what yeah. I'm saying. It's a, I think because he was bringing that dark. That's you know, not dark. Yeah. What he was doing, but wild. Yeah, that's, that was wild. You that's know, that's that's wild. Your mm -hmm. mom mobbing and raping her. Arabia. Saudi yeah. Arabia. Yeah. But you know, back in those days, remember they weren't any cameras like there are now. So you could imagine what was going on back then. Oh, listen. Yeah, uh, and plus, it wasn't the internet. Get mm -hmm. your word out. They'd like be like, yo, well, this was happening to me. It wasn't the internet. You had to come out word of mouth. And like we said, we've been hearing the rumors, but how far that's going to go? Yeah. We ain't going to be the ones running around. Yo, we heard. Yo, who you heard it from? Next thing you know, you and some shit. You know what I'm saying? He said, she said. But nowadays, you know, brother, get on the internet or whatever, and, and uh, yo, this would happen to me, and uh, somebody may even have a video of it. But this dude he said he was getting fondled by Trey for Boys <laughs> What? Cuban Good and Junior was out there wilding too. Yeah, but yo, he be wilding. Oh, Dude he said Cuban Good and Junior was gripping him. He was getting fucked by train for boys. He was like, he was like, let me out, yo, let me out, yo. Hold on, hold let on. So you, so you saying that 
uh, what's his name? Rod. That yo, why the hell is his name Rod, bro? His name Rod, Rod, Rod. Rod. That's wild pause. <laughs> what do you got the name before the pause? Are you talking man? about the, the 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 dude Rod Pause? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the dude Rod said that he was getting groped <laughs> by Cuba getting Jr. and Puff Crib. So why was you getting groped? <laughs> by Trey. He jumped. He the- <laughs> Yo, yeah. He young, man. You know what I'm saying? He trying to get in where he fit and not knowing that this is going there. You know, like, yo, what are y'all doing, homie? You know, I came Don't here. get in where you fit in that. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, we can't be yo, 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 this is, this whole episode is paused out, bro. Like, yeah, man. Hey, yo, you got to call this the No Diddy episode. Yo, <laughs> get no- in where you fit in. Whoa. Yo. <laughs> yo. So hold up. So we got we got who do you think? Okay, Black Rob ain't getting mixed up in that. Black Rob is too too gutter for that. See, you gotta figure like this, man. You can't you can't really put too much by even with them, because at the end of the day, these dudes ended up sick, man. Like, what are you sick from? You know, you can run around here and we can't hear you, Clip. We, you can run around and say that, oh, he was sick from this. Oh, they were sick from that. We don't know what they were sick from. Yeah, a lot of these dudes got sick out of nowhere. All of them magic, that went they down, they died, they died from gun violence. They all ran to the, they all, most of them all ran to God for some reason. Yeah, like, all of them see? left him. And usually when people be going, you know, you start repenting and all that because you know that you're going down. Mm-hmm. We think you actually turning to God, but you actually repenting your sins because you know that these are your last days. You know, so, you know, these dudes died of sickness. They died like, you know, you don't want to put it the right, you know, you really want to get it out there. You don't know what they had, man. They just thought Mace was bugging because he he got up out of Dodge. I'm out of here, yo. This shit is out of control. I'm going, I'm going down. I'm going to church. <laughs> this shit is a, out of control. Mace is another Puff Daddy, though. Hold on. This is, a, this is another Puff Daddy. But if check you go out. Through, hold, hold up with Mace, right? There's a clip out there where Mace go, uh, where someone asked, can this is years ago too? Someone asked. I think it was it was on the uh, one hundred five one hundred point. No, what was the name of that show? One hundred six in Park. Yeah, I think AJ or Free asked him as Mace. Can can Puffy just made a, a gospel album? Can he do that? And then Mace said, "Well, can can't RuPaul make a gospel album?" Now he said that back in the. Days like now, why way would you back. Compare, bro, so Mace ball. knows something, bro. That's yeah, but you got to figure like this. Like, Mace, even when Mace, Mace probably was invited, Mace probably got hit. Got they, they, I think they tried to, I think they probably tried to violate or violated Mace. And he was like, I'm out of here, yo. I can't do this. There ain't enough money in the world. I'm gone. Yeah. Yeah, but all Mace was doing, he ran around because you got to figure like this. Mace just like Puff, but doubt, you know, without all the sexual thing, he a crook too. No, I'm not, I'm not disputing this crazy. Yeah, because, you know, he ran around here and, and false profited. That's like me and you, God. You know, we done went through our transition when we was young. We did what we did. You know what I'm saying? Then we got older. We, you know, we was righteous when we was young, but then we really recognized it and started living it out. And then that's like right now, tomorrow, you see us and we are cold 85 again. So that means, you know, all our righteousness was phony because you look at me, you yeah, 85 again. You cursing. You calling people with all the N words, you know. Even though you're not in a church no more, you still supposed to be holding yourself in a righteous way because you already done went to that righteous path and you've been in that path for a while. So I can understand you, even if you on the internet, you on the podcast, you supposed to be some dude that yo yo that's Mace man, yo that brother boom. It ain't supposed to be no cursing on your platform. We don't even do no cursing. You know what I'm saying? We try to hold it to the to the lowest we could. And for you to be up here just, you know, cussing and doing this and you were ex pastor and all that, man, you look super phony, man. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, but group, I, 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 I kind of that, that was just, just like me, similar to that church stuff. He'd be in church screaming all this nonsense. But I'm like, dog, you be with us on Saturdays with, with the thin, like with the heathens wilding. Like, but then you go to church. Yeah, you still can hang out. You, right? you know, you got there's certain things you can do. Like, yo, you know, I'm still hanging out with the crew. I ain't too good to hang out with the crew. But yeah, I don't hang out, but it's like, yeah, you know, I still hang out with the crew. You know, I'm not going to the parties. I'm not drinking. I'm not, you know, hustling. But I'm still with the crew. 
Mm. You know nah, what I'm saying? Like, I just got to get out of my way. Yeah. Yeah. So real mm. quick, real quick before before we clip out of this, um, uh, I want to talk about what, what I heard you talk about on uh, on IG, um, Lord K. Bone, when you were talking about a, a two-year-old baby grazed in the Bronx. Oh, man. I heard about that one over the weekend. It's yeah, that's crazy. right up on Fordham Road, like, you know, where I live at, too. And, and it's like somebody just got killed in a train station up there. This is a big, giant shopping district. You know, one of the biggest shopping districts in the Bronx, you could say, besides 149th Street, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, it's just ridiculous, man, you know. And we got these politicians, uh, the councilwoman that I'm always going against was Pyrena Sanchez, that's never in the community, never doing nothing. We got the assembly woman, uh, Tapia, Udelka Topia, who's never in the district, never doing nothing. And you know, you just standing right there allowing this. And then they got a program that they fund millions of dollars and their office is on Fordham Road. Mm. And you still ain't stopping nothing or doing nothing. When they first went to Fordham Road, I was like, why would they invest in a program that's on Fordham Road when Fordham Road is a shopping district and the police are supposed to be taking care of that? You know, because, you know, that's not a community. Community is like, like you know, we live on a, in a, on a block, so we know that people is like community. Fordham Road is just different people traveling all day, every day. It's like 42nd Street. You know, people come up here to shop. They have no connection to there other than buying something. So, you know, why would you fund a program that's housed on Fordham Road? You feel me? And then saying that you're trying to help the community. You need to be funding a program that's in the community that's going to help the community. And right now, you know, and then the sad thing about it, that's uh, when the kid got grazed, like a law that, the, you know, nothing really happened to the baby. But the next day is the baby's birthday. The baby turned three. So it's too much going on, man. You know, you walk down Fordham Road right now, which is their district. Once you get off the train, the four train, from the four train all the way from Jerome Avenue to Fordham Road, I mean, to the Grand Concourse, it looked like a third world country. All the stores is closing now because outside the store you got everybody from a different country selling fruits and 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 and, and, and clothes and sneakers and why well, I pay seventy five hundred fifteen thousand dollars a month for a store in Fordham Road when you could just open up for free. You feel me? But when we was doing it and going out there and was on one twenty fifth Street and selling undershirts and all that. They shut it down. We was on the news. They was coming out there with buses, with MTA buses, locking up all the black people. But now that is all, uh, you know, the people that's the same nationality as the elected officials that's in our community, it's okay for them to ride motorcycles on the sidewalk and not get a summons. It's okay for them to open up and cook food and sell food without a food license, without a vending license. It's okay for them to open up fruit markets and all that, right? On any block that they want to, and it's unfair. That's a fact. They did lock us all up when we was out there selling. When we was out there doing independent black black business, like independent black businesses, they mm -hmm. removed all of that from us. They not only did they took it, they made everybody go. It was a whole riots and all that. It was coming out there with buses locking the brothers up and the sisters. And they made everybody to today go to 116th Street to that market. That, yeah, you know, yeah. That market ran strange. outside of town. But it's okay for them, other people to come from a different, and, and the people that was doing it, we from here. But it's okay for people to come from other countries as long as they're your nationality. And you counting on them to get your votes later on once you get them in here. It's okay for them to open up any kind of shop they want to with any type of, any type of license. You know? Mm. That was happening in, uh, what was that? That was like in 2005's eights yeah when they was locking people up for that yeah they was locking up everybody it was, they yeah. took a couple of stuff we were selling the leather jackets for and all that you know, oh you got a vending license now yeah I I stuff. but right now you know you i i don't seen them come up to the uh moms and pops that be out there that you know the, the old frank people selling the franks take their whole frank stand i don't seen them come out to the people with their little coquito you got your little coquito out there yo 50 cent they take that why you ain't taking these people fruit stands? Well, taking all of this stuff that they got the whole Fordham Road flooded. Mm -hmm. Taking. Where's the paddy wagons? Where's the stuff at? Where they vending license at? Mm -hmm. You know, so there's a lot going on right in front of us that we don't be all uh, 
jumping out the window because you know these people was counting on them after they they let them do whatever they do because later on they counting on them down with the latin votes mm -hmm. that's a part of that community so when they want to go back to the vote you remember me i let you come through town you came over here illegally, and then i let you open up on the street illegally so i just let you i know you vote for me you know it's like this all uh, the okay corrals like you know you up here and like the army, be all you can be. Do whatever you want to do as long as you ain't black. You know, because if you like American and you go and you sell something, I guarantee you get jail. You're American, you go out there and say, well, I'm gonna open up a fish stand and your little fish and chip join out there. They're gonna be out there every day. You, know, you got all vending license, they'll give you a hundred summonses because people selling fruits and all this all around you and, and, and nothing is happening. Right. Hey brothers. We got we got another we got another um live coming on and and about and right now actually so man it was a pleasure building with you brothers today we're back again Peace. next Monday same time same no, place love bro hey, yo, clips you gotta come back on with us man oh, yeah definitely. man clip has been a minute bro where you yeah, been we're going through some shit but it's but I'm alright though all right just yeah, don't don't don't, don't end up in Diddy's bro. tunnels man no 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 ain't never gonna happen hey yo look hey yo look hey yo look you doing bad. Hey, yo, you get on your feet right now after this party. Yeah. <laughs> yo, oh, peace, yo, what up, peace, peace, peace. Yo, oh, right. who's coming in? Who's who's next guest? We got Brother Jelani Bay in the building. What's going on, Brother Jelani Bay? Peace, 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 peace. Islam, Islam, Islam. We we here. We got you moorish mondays that's the that's the theme every monday moorish monday uh you know it's a pleasure to have you on again um we we us the brother sharif anil bay is supposed to be on with us too but uh maybe he's you know he he, he teaches i think he teaches or something like that martial arts before this so you know it is what it is but you know if he comes on he comes on if he doesn't it's still peace he's back on uh wednesday uh, for those who who are here for Sh uh, brother Sharif, but we got brother Sh Jelani, um, Kilfani Bay. Uh, what's the DA there on your name? Um, my full attribute and title is Jelani Delisa Abdullah Kalfani Bay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, um, you wanted to come on, you know, uh, you know, this is pretty much long overdue. This is a, a a live. We started doing a lot of lives now, um, brother. So I'm, just, you know, just to let you know. And anybody who's on uh, the live right now, we do have super chat. So if you want to donate to the uh, brand, you can. We plan on doing a podcast in, in studio, in studio, in studio. So that's our next goal after basically becoming, uh, you know monetize and having a thousand subs and all this good stuff and it's appreciated and it's definitely appreciated and we jelani lonnie bay was one of the first people to give us interviews to help build a platform and we greatly appreciate you brother gratitude brother yes sir so now um let's let's talk about it brother um I don't know if you if you wanted to come on to clear some things or you wanted to talk about I know you you know the big part of uh is Islam brother Islam brother Ray Bay in the building uh um Islam and uh, uh brother Jelani you know we talk a lot about unity when we when we get a chance to speak um and really that was the, that's always kind of been the theme around us when we are talking in general so um I mean, what what's what's on your mind today? You know, um, I got a lot to talk about. What do you have to talk about? I, you know, let's start with you. Well, I mean, um, brother, you know, per our last conversation, you know, um, you know, my, my main theme is uh, Morse government because, you know, we negate that. You know what I'm saying? Um, we we spend too much time uh, trying to manipulate somebody else's law. When Prophet Noble Drali gave us our own law. Once you have a constitution, you have your own judicial system. You have your own governmental body politic. And this is why the man said in Act One, we empower to make the law and enforce the law. And those laws that we make and enforce, therefore, Moorish American Muslims only. And nobody can uh, abrogate that. 
But the problem is the so-called leadership is not making this legislation. Okay. So what you're saying is, is that, okay. So I want you to, 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 to break down the specifics of what you mean. Um, when you, when you say that you have, you have the prophet's law, right? That's what you said, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have, what other law did you mention? Well, there's, there's, you know, just like there's only two world powers, and that's the the, the uh, Roman Catholic Order of Mary and Christ, or or the Roman Catholic Church, and then the Order of Islam. Mm -hmm. the, that's the only real beef, you know, in the in this world uh, arena. Mm -hmm. You know, we always we uh, the United States is always uh, picking with the Middle East and and Israel and Palestine and and you know all that, and then. You know, we as Moorish American Muslims, that's one of their biggest problems. You know, they they try to discredit us as Moorish American Muslims um, so that the African American won't come nowhere near us. And, you know, you can't you can't forget what George Washington said in 1774 at the first Continental Congress when he was the chairman. And he said that it is imperative that we remove the fezes and the turbans from the heads of the Moors and remove their sandals and take a blood oath that we never teach these people who they really are so that 200 years from now, they won't know who they are, what they are, or where they came from. I have a question. Yes, sir, brother. How can we put this into practice as far as litigation? Like saying that George Washington had honored all this in the, you know, as you mentioned in the in the press, how can we go about to have him honor a treaty as such to come into fruition to recognize us as a nation within a nation? Okay, so now listen, going to the religious corporation, a religious corporation is a subnational entity. That's a government that exists inside of another government. Instead of going for treaties have them enforce their own legislation. Their own legislation recognizes, and I hate that word, the autonomy of a religious corporation. That's what Noble Drali gave us. And that is a body politic or a government, like a municipality. So in the legislation, we are expected to organize our own local government. Meaning what they have, we must have. That's why we created the Ministry of Land, Transport, and Navigations. They got a DMV. That's why we did the Ministry of Holistic Health, because they have clinics and hospitals, you know, so on and so forth. We uh, labor and vocation because they have technical schools. See, so, and then Noble Draw Lee Supreme Moore's customary court, because every court is a corporation. See, so their corporation is attacked, attached to Rome, whereas in the Noble Drali Supreme Court is attached to Islamism under our law. We have the Free and Sundry Morris Law Consulate to adjudicate things pursuant to chapter, verse, sentence, paragraph, the uh, divine constitution and bylaws, additional laws, and the laws in the Moorish Holy Quran. Just like the Muslims take the surah and ayats, and that's their law, the Sharia law. It's the same way with the Hasidic Jews and the Halakha courts and stuff like that. And they have a degree of autonomy with these courts. And the laws of religion dictate that separation. See, so it's nothing like I'm trying to make up anything. There's actual legislation that recognizes a religious jurisdiction. We have negated and organized in that jurisdiction. For years, you can quote me on asking for unity, asking for us to standardize those laws. Those laws that are in the chapters and verses of our doctrine, let's take those out and codify them. You know, let's create our own Black's Law Dictionary. Henry Black ain't, ain't a Moorish American Muslim. Why do we keep using somebody else's law to protect us when we have our own law to protect us? And I'm no mastermind, so let's the, let the masterminds come together and organize this law.
so our people can have protection. That's all. And we've used this strategy uh, time and time again. And it's shut down cases. They either stay them or doggone um, uh, what they call uh, uh, it's another word for it when they when they shut it down all together. Walkouts. No, no, they just shut the shut the case down where no no other action can be put on it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the term for that one. Yeah, and that's that's trying to. In other words, they're running from the victory. They'll shut it down before they, they take that L. And that's a form of a victory. You see what so, I mean? Because that means that what, the, the, your legislation is effective enough where they go, skirt. But I have I have a question. Are there yes, any sir. cases that, that are recorded in like Supreme Court that's in file? Because usually you could reference that to show but, effectiveness. Yeah, there are some um oh god, uh US versus US versus um There's three of them. One of them dealing with um, the, the prison system recognizing Islamism as a religion. Um, F. Turner Ill had legislation about our feds wearing it in the courtroom. No, that's um, not also, true, brother. Say what now, sir? Islam. Islam. First thing we say Islam to the brother. But that's, Islam, not, true about, that's not true about F. Turner Ill. Oh, it isn't? No, sir. That's not true about brother F. Turner Ill. Well, that's per the paper brother, I read, brother. So brother I mean, F. Ill, brother F. Turner Ill, um, you know, performed successfully um, in the capacity of legal counsel on a number of occasions, but he set no legal precedents. He set no legal precedents. Um, did, he win, did he win the case, or did it go into no, Supreme? It wasn't, I know it didn't go into Supreme Court, but did he win the case? It, 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 he successfully represented certain people as it relates to certain um a couple of issues, but there was no case law made and there was no precedence made. Not at all. Well, well, that's strange because you know um I've never been challenged about wearing the feds in court. Yeah, of course not, because it's allowed as a religious headdress. Absolutely. I believe that was the um the subject matter at hand in that particular um that was uh, counseling that, was. that F. Turner Ill did. Like that's I said, right. I just read the papers on the brother, and yeah. um that's what it said. I haven't done any in-depth research. But like on I said, it. but like I said, that led that, that set no legal precedence. Religious headdress has always been allowed, regardless of religion, in a in the courtroom. The difference is First Amendment. there's there there's here's here's the difference we're dealing with here, right? Among other things, yes, this is that religious freedom is allowed. What the brother said, what you said about religious law, though, here's the problem: there is nowhere in the United States where religious law has superseded the civil authority. Nowhere, unless it is a religious matter. Nowhere well, has it superseded. Su nowhere has it superseded civil authority. We don't have the power to do that. Title forty two, two thousand BB one, two, three, and four. Title forty two of what? Of the United States Codes. Quote it, please. Um, something to the effect of. No official of the state or subdivision of the state can burden one's religious belief or practice. Okay, that's that's right. That's agreed. But that doesn't give religious law authority over the civil authority. It doesn't. So what does the First Amendment say? The First Freedom Amendment religion, says not brother. even Congress can make a law with respect to religion. Yeah, what does that brother. mean? That literally Congress means, is the head of brother, civil that, brother, jurisdiction. It literally means separation of church and state. That's Hello. Right. So we're church, their state, diversity of citizenship, diversity of state. No, 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 brother. You have to. I don't know what you're doing nowadays, dear brother, but I fight them all the time. But brother, well, here's OK. Now, here's what's deep about what you just said. The prophet didn't fight the government. He said, I'm going to help the government. You always going to have cases where um 
some European, you fighting some with? immigrant looks at you and go, well, no, you're a nigger. But who, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, but who are you fighting? And where? Anyone, anyone who burns our religion. But, 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 you're talking, you're you're talking but you're talking specifically in the courtrooms. No, not specifically the courtroom. We write legislate. We write um, a correspondence to the governors, to the attorney generals. You know, why? and put them on well, notice. Hold on, hold on. Why are you writing correspondence to the attorney generals and the governor of the state? Diplomacy. Why? Putting them on notice. Putting them in contract. So are you okay? Hold on. Next question. Are you part of the United States government or not? No. No, you are not part of the prophet's program or the prophet's teaching then. Chapter verse. Bro, Chapter man. verse where the prophet said we are part of the United States. We are part of the 14th wow. Amendment. Hold on. I'm going to get my literature. But before that, I can quote no, you. No, no, get the Quran. Islam, Islam, Islam. I want to just say this real quick, brothers. Real quick, brothers. Now, both of you brothers have a point, And I want to make sure both points are clear so that the Correct public. viewers. The viewers understand. So Absolutely. the brother T Tim Z said, "Brother Jelani is right." I don't know what, on what point is he making. The, he's saying the brother Jelani is right. They're, right. They're, they're, they're referring to no school on Fridays. That the prophet, because as um Ray Bay said, didn't that the brother make it so that Morris children didn't have to go to school on Fridays, so it could be observed as a holy day. Did the prophet in, do in that? That's case law. Um, yeah. Board of Education like versus Edwards or something, Edwardson or something like that. Listen, the prophet laid a foundation for certain things to happen. Now, when you're talking about the whole school thing on Friday, that was put in place by the Moorish American Society of Philadelphia in April of 1933. Yeah, All right. Resolution 70 or something like that. I mean, no, 75. No, no. Resolution 75 was 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 came immediately after that. And it was because of that action. Brother, those actions were not lawmaking. They were administrative. You guys got to know the difference. Now, Act 4 of the Divine Constitution and Bylaws and Act 5 of the Divine Constitution and Bylaws refutes what you just said, dear brother. Brother, listen, there is no constitution in the world that mentions another constitution in its constitution. When he says you, we are not to, uh, we are not to overthrow the laws of the government. He's not talking about the U.S. government. He's talking about the Moorish Divine and National Movement. He's talking about the Moorish government. What Moorish government, bro? The Moorish Divine and National Movement. Show now, me. Now I know. I remember when we doggone read that 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 document, and a whole paragraph was missing, where he said that. Uh, he was attending the inauguration of the governor representing the Morris Divine and National Movement and that he would doggone be representing the uh, he would be attending the president's inauguration later on that year under the same banner. But then the document you had didn't even have that paragraph in it. So brother, that's probably in brother. itself that brother. you have the same document. One has a whole paragraph omitted and one has the paragraph there. So brother. there's no doubt that there's been funny, there, there's been folly in the Morris Divine and National Movement. Words have been ask changed you, brother, around in the ask, Morris Divine and National Movement, brother. I'm going right? to ask you a Millie question. Millie it's all through it, brother. So I'm going to the ask one you we a... have makes more sense. All right, brother. I'm going to ask you a question that I asked you years ago. That you, and, and I'm going to see if your answer is the same thing. If what you're saying is true, brother. If we're separate from the United States and not part of the United States, why did the prophet and over 3,000 Moors in 1928 participate in the elections? Well, you know, do you have the documentation where their ballot was 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 cast and their votes were counted? I've never I've never seen it. I know you talked to me before about the block grant thing and stuff like that. You know, I, I remember that and I respect that, you know, but by the same token, you're also talking about a new era in time. In the 1920s, there was a lot of things that could be done. Whereas in after 33, when they started monetizing the birth certificates, a lot of things changed. You know, a lot of us got put in a servitude status. The gold and silver standard was discontinued. 
You know, so there was no real money after that. So what does that got to do with wealth, citizenship? The wealth was on the birth certificate. What does, that, what does that have to do with citizenship? Right. Well, it has everything now, to do with citizenship but, because because the um the government denationalized the people when? by making them corporations. When? In 1933, May 5th, 1933. The executive order. Who got denationalized? Negroes, especially. Anybody who got a birth certificate? Because Whoa. before that, we put that Whoa. in our book of law. Hold before on. that, Hold we on. put that in our Bible, right, brother? Brother. In the, in, in the Bible is a book of law, right, brother? Our Negro you have to take the Bible to court and prove your identity. Brother. So it's a book of law as well. Brother, are Negroes the only people with birth certificates? No. Well, now, no. So everybody got birth certificates in multiple countries. Uh, now let's go back so you can answer the original question because you did not answer. You dodged it. Why in the world did the prophet have himself and 3,000 plus Muslims vote in the elections in 1928? Now the only thing I heard on that is that he um he um uh, what's the word he used? It's not sponsored. It's an it's another word that meant that basically meant that he supported Alderman Dupree. Who? Yeah. Who? So Alderman Dupree. Dupree. There's no such person. I may be saying it wrong then. There's no alderman? What was his name? Listen, brother. When I asked you this years ago, you answered honest. You know what your, your answer was? Your answer was, I never knew that they voted. I'm basically saying the same thing. All right, I asked yeah, you for the, the documentation of, of where it happened because I never knew. I never seen any literature in my 21 years that showed me that Cross Bay, uh, Julia Bay, uh, Robert Ill, all of these people were on a ballot somewhere. I've never seen it. So my answer is still the same. I never knew it happened. I've never now, seen the evidence. Here is my, now, now, my next, my next st statement is this. If you didn't know that this took place. How can you make the assertions you're making now that because you I lived it? Place. Now that you hold on, now that you know it took place. Brother, that's irrelevant to me because I know when I go, if I'm ever in a courtroom and I state my status as a minister, I state my status as the director of a religious corporation. Things change. Here's my question to you Cases about that. Cases disappear. Here's, here's my question to you about that. What are you doing in the courtroom in the first place? Brother, it's as simple as getting pulled over because they think you a Negro. You think our prophet came so that you... You're just talking about the 20s, brother. This is 2024. Brother, let me Things, finish my back, question. Back then, back then it was... Hey, more, let him, let him, let him finish, more. Let, let him finish. I'll keep going let back him finish. in Jelani, Brother Jelani. Let him finish. Let him finish what he was saying. Stop refereeing. You. No, I, I have to referee. Whoa, what do you mean? Time. Stop refereeing. Whoa. I got a referee. This, this is crazy, man. Let's, let's keep let's keep it civil and respectful, man. We can have a great dialogue, man. More. Let, 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 let the more. Let the more. Let the more finish saying what he's got to say. Go ahead. Go ahead I'm, I'm a Muslim. Go ahead and talk, brother. Welcome to the welcome to the show. Well, welcome to the club. I am too. Well, look, Islam, pardon me. Let, let me just say this real quick. Let me just say this real quick before we go further, any further. So this discussion, Brother Jelani, this is Moorish Mondays. Pretty much we are we had something planned, like where we're going to do a martial arts thing about uh, with, with, uh, Brother Sharif Bey. I completely forgot about the fact that I did wanted to have Brother Jelani come on and build on some things. And then he hit me up. He says, where, where's the link? So that's you know. Then I just plug you know basically put them in the in the chat in the um in the in the conversation or what have you. 
which I didn't think was a bad idea. I don't think it's a bad idea. Dialogue is dialogue. Everyone here, we're adults. You know, um, no, I have to referee the situation. If I gotta cut off someone's mic, that has to happen. If if there's this, if there's too much chaos going on, you have something to say, brother. You have something to say, Jelani. Brother Sharif has something to say. Both of you have valid points. For the viewers to get the points well, it has to be refereed. And that's just how it's gonna um uh, how it's gonna go. So I just don't forget to... it has to be clear for the viewers and listeners as well. Yeah. So do your thing, brothers. Brother Sharif, can you can you say what you were getting ready to say, please? No, let the brother finish. I'm gonna listen. All right. If brother Sharif was coming on to speak about martial arts, I'm a martial artist also. Let's talk martial arts. If you forgot about what you approached me about and you wanted me to discuss, then let's drop it and let's talk about martial arts. All right. So now now I got to make sure that with so now this is live. Right. And for me, I always keep it a buck. I always keep it a hundred all the time, all the way around, all through and through. Now, as far as you and I are concerned. Right now, I didn't necessarily forget about what we would. Because honestly, I don't even I don't know what we were really getting ready to talk about. Honestly, I thought we was talking about unity. You know what I'm saying? And then you went in to talking about law and this, that, and the third. So I just let it flow. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, brother. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. I'm, I want to make knowledge be born. Because when we, when we, before we even got on here, we was talking about, talking about unity. That's one point we was talking about. And another point we was talking about is you wanted to clear, clear it. But before, before this even happened, right? You, we were supposed to do a podcast a war a while back. You, you, you retracted. You didn't want to. You didn't want to do it because, for whatever reason, for whatever reason. So now we're on here. Now you're talking about law. Brother Sharif came on. He doesn't agree with some some things that you're saying. Things are getting a little heated for whatever reason. Who knows? I don't know because I'm not emotional about this. Neither am I. All right, so let's yeah, continue. I, I, I'm, here's one thing about me. If I'm angry, I become monotone and very quiet. Other than that, man, I'm just doggone basing off. But the thing about it is, is this. It, may I divulge what we were supposed to be talking about? Okay, I, now, I was under the impulse what we're supposed to be talking about, Brother Jelani. I need you to specify when exactly we said that we were going to talk about this specific subject. Yes, sir. Here's what the conversation. The conversation was... And how long was this conversation? How long ago was this conversation that you're talking yes, about? Yes, sir, dear brother. But now, hold on a second. Um, I, Just to let you know, um, I'm a grandmaster in the Knights Templar. We have the first Moorish American Lodge. I'm, I'm, I'm running up and down the East Coast. So when we contacted each other, I thought we were picking up. The so I came to you and said, let's talk about Moorish government. And you said, before we do that, let's clear up these fallacies about me overcharging people and, or doing work for people and taking their money and not doing the work. So my mindset was coming on here to clear that up. I didn't know what the subject matter other than that was. So why didn't you specify that before you got on? I, that's the last conversation we had, dear brother, and I apologize. That last conversation happened months ago, though, Mo. Yes, sir. That, that's the last time we talked, and I apologize. But can we say something? I was under like, the impression that that's hey, what we were doing, and I apologize. Mm. Let's talk martial arts. I have no problem. Let's let's go ahead and blend in and, and talk martial arts, because Sharif Aniel Bay is an excellent Kung Fu instructor. Sifu. But why would we always admire him and was already going in the direction that it was going, and we were we were already flowing. Things were flowing already, and and okay. because you said that I'm refereeing, that's when things kind of went to the left. Oh, don't because, be emotional, sure. don't, 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 don't uh -huh. get emotional. Don't be all right. I, I'm not. I'm not getting I said, emotional. I, said, I was excited. I said it. I apologize. I digress. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Bro. No, hey, Mo. Listen, listen, listen. It's not about that, Mo. What I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is the brother, 
I, you said I don't have to don't referee, but I'm trying. I'm let, I'm just. It, it's not about being emotional. I'm let, letting you know. I and Mike, we have to control the room all the time, no matter who's respect. on. Respect. So got a referee. So respect. if it's out of hand, we gotta we gotta we gotta clip it. You get what I'm saying? We gotta fix it. Yes, sir. So so I let's agree. can we can we get it back on track? I want to get course, it back on track. I want to get it back on track. Brother, I'm all ears. The brother Sharif had something to say in re, in, in reference to what 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 uh, what would you, what did you say? What was uh what happened? What can you recall, brother Sharif? Sure, I can recall. Yeah. Um, the topic at the moment where I had, I had asked the simple question of um if he's holding that position can he ask can he answer the question as to why in other words if in fact the moorish movement and the prophet intended for the movement and the organization to be separate from the united states government the question is why did he actively and aggressively participate in governmental affairs of a foreign nation allegedly by participating in the election in that election year and it wasn't just for one individual it was for a slate of elected officials the quite so that was the question the first time i asked he didn't answer so i asked the question again and that's when he mentioned an individual that wasn't on the slate and i said that individual wasn't on the slate and he said well maybe i miss miss misspoke or you know whatever the person's name and that's when I began to say, listen, it's an entire slate. And that's when the brother started talking and I couldn't get a word in. So I just shut up. Well, dear brother, I apologize, but I don't know anything about that. Mm -hmm. What I study is religious government and the powers of religious government. And when I see in chapter 48, we as a clean and pure nation, the centers of Africa do not desire to amalgamate. That's a separation or marry into the pale-skinned nations of Europe, or follow after their religion, knowing that religion is a form of law. And then when we are returning the church and Christianity back to the European, well, that is for his earthly salvation, meaning that anything that is Christian, we do not have to deal with it, because the next, pair, the next verse says, we are returning to Islam, for that is for our earthly salvation. So those those verses are speaking of a separation, right? Not an organization. So these are the things that I read and I get I get the impression that we are supposed to develop our own. I look at the Vatican. The Vatican has every department that every that the United States and every country of the world has. You know, uh the Hasidic Jews, same thing. That's you not know, true. even the Amish and the Quakers. That's not they true. have different departments that are that are the same in every other government. Mm -hmm. The Moorish Americans, where's our school? Where, where's our police department? You know, where, where's where, where's where's our litigators to defend our, our, our Moors? You know, when we're dragged into foreign courts, where are these things? Why hasn't nobody took the time to develop these things? You know, because we need them. Because you got people just because they say they more are being persecuted and they're not equipped to defend themselves. You know, so what institution is going to come up to help Moorish Americans defend themselves or a group of individuals study law on the level where they can protect our Moorish American citizens? And those Moorish American citizens can hire them to speak on their behalf as counsels. That, that's where my mindset is, brother. Protection for our people. I'm not on no, no, no high falutin tip or nothing like that. I've been a victim of these municipalities. I've, I've been tortured. My family's been tortured. So I want solutions so that nobody's family ever gets tortured again. That, that's my whole mission, man. That's the only thing I thrive for. That's it. If I don't know certain literature or certain historical facts, please forgive me. I haven't studied that because I've been studying that the religious law and how the prophets work compares to that religious law. See, I, I don't know everything. I just special. That's like uh, Brother Akeem Bay. 
He specializes in the genealogy of the different personalities and linking them back to the Moors, to the Phoenicians and the Hittites and the Girgashites. And that's his specialty. Okay, so, Islam, Islam, Islam. I, I, I cry, cry innocence. All right, Islam, Islam, real quick. I want to know this, right? So, Brother Sharif, you have the documentation of the prophet uh, basically casting a ballot. Is, how, how did you word it? It's not even just, listen, it's, 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 it's not like some hidden stuff hidden somewhere in a, in a, in a box. This was, the, the, this was contemporary history. It wasn't just written about by the Moors. It wasn't just written about or recorded by the Moors movement. The Chicago Defender recorded it. Like, this is oh, well wow. known. It's part of American history. So Brother Jelani but, says he hasn't seen it. That's, hey, okay. But now here's the kicker, though, and this is my point. If you see it, not if, when. Now you have a real conundrum because if that happened, which it did, then there's a huge contradiction in your understanding, brother. In other words, because how are we? In other words, how can the prophet on one end set up something that's supposed to be separate from the United States government and then turn around and participate in it as if he's part of it? That's a good question because only sure thing is. I have, I'm sorry, you, you, were you finished? Uh, I'm yeah, uh, that's a good question, man. Because, see, in, in Morris Holy, we say chapter, verse, sentence, paragraph. So we don't speculate on what we read. You know, we take it as gospel, like every other religion. Their, 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 their doctrine, they take that as gospel. See, so stories outside of the, the, that 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 uh, that gospel, that that doctrine, I'm not familiar with. You see what I mean? So, and that's the God's honest truth. You know, so please enlighten me, because I understand that 2024 is a new era in time. There are a lot of things that were going on now that did not go on back then. You know, and we as Moorish Americans have not made the adjustment for the new era in time. That's all, brother. And that's all I thrive for to get us prepared because we got a lot of things coming down the pipeline and we're not ready for it at all. Understood. But let me ask you this. Being that the brother Sharif has proof of what he's he, he of his claim right now, he has proof. Let's say you see it tomorrow. How? What would be your 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 thoughts on that? After I would I would acknowledge it as as true, but Moorish government is still paramount, and Moorish government is still necessary. Not desiring to amalgamate is necessary. Did the Every prophet amalgamate? Every religious government in this country lives in. Well, he's at, he just asked you a question. No, no, I, I cut him off. Apologies. Let him continue. I'll, okay. ask, I'll, I'll remember the question. All right. Yeah. Every every religious government lives in peace. They had a show on Amish Mafia where they was beating the taste out of dog on the villagers for interfering with their people. And the sheriff negotiated with the man. He didn't lock him up. He didn't threaten him. You could tell there were two different body politics negotiating and i just don't see that with the moorish americans i see them going for black's laws dictionary uh uh accepted for value uh uccs and all of this this garbage when when the prophets chapter verses and sentence and paragraph has enough power to protect us if we use it properly like we don't when we do affidavits it's all the prophet's words it's all the prophets were it's chapter, verse, sentence, paragraph, uh, quotes from the, the, the additional laws, the, the divine constitution. That is our weapon. That's what we and they and it shuts them down because it's religious in nature and they can't make a judgment on religion. So it shuts them down. So that's an effective tactic 
to keep this pirate off of us. We've done it time and time again. You know, so it's hard when we've actually done it. It's hard to say, well, no, nah, well, okay, I'm going to change my whole way uh, because of a voting situation. It's hard when you've actually done it for me to do a reverse or 180. See, we were jumped on just because we were Moors. The, the assistant chief police lied on us and said we were El Rukins. I remember I told you last time. And they attacked us. And at that time, the elder Moors didn't know what to do to, to uh, uh, assist us. And instead of jumping ship, like my family did and a lot of other ones, I said, I'm going to sit here and bang and swing and try to figure out this classical mess. That's all. That That's it. And if I'm doing it in ignorance, um, I'm home, that I'm doing it in ignorance, but it's hard when you've been effective in this particular strategy. In Islam, I yield. I have a question, though. Yes, sir. Um, with what he's saying, Reef, um, is that even feasible? Well, here's he's a, saying, a, is it possible? I'll like, address, to, like, well, let me let me I'll address that, but let me ask. I want to ask this question. The brother quoted from chapter forty-eight. We as a clean and pure nation descended from the inhabitants of Africa do not desire to amalgamate and marry into the pale skin nations of Europe, neither serve the gods of their religion. Right? Right? Isn't that what you said? Yeah. Okay. You equate participating in another nation's governmental affairs with amalgamation. Am I correct? Yes, sir. May Did the prophet, the here's my question. Did the prophet amalgamate with the European in 1928 when he advocated for voting in that system. I don't know what his strategy was in doing that, sir. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why he did other, it. Either, either he did or he didn't, and we know he did. So answer the question. Did he Guess what? You, see, you know it for true, brother. I don't know it yet. Once you show Boy. me the evidence, then we I might have another change of mind. But until Boy, it's that, there, you, it's out there. It's, he said it's public information. I think the, you hold, showed hold, it at one point, hold right? On, brother Ron, hold, on, hold on, brother Ron. Hold on, brother Ron. I just listen, whether you've seen it or not is irrelevant to my question. The question is, and I'll use the word if, if it took place, would he be guilty of amalgamating? My opinion, like everybody no, else, it's one, the, it's one or the other, bro. I would say yes. Okay. And here's That's the reason why. That. Praise the Lord. That's what I want to hear. All right. All right. And and here's the reason why. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things I've criticized is about successions. All right. When you first start something out, you appoint people in in, in positions. And you try to appoint the, the, the people that, that are expertise in each of those positions. But after a while, there comes a time where the people must choose the leadership based on the standards developed by that original people who were appointed. So when will we have a national election for the next Supreme Grand Sheik, the one who will represent us to all governments of the world. Those who think they are qualified, let them go throughout the country to the various temples and campaign and convince the people they're qualified. And we vote. And I look at that as a free national ballot. You see Not what I mean? Ballot is. I mean, that's, that's how I look at it. You know, that's just one of the things that I look at because when the new president comes into place, he should be in the TV looking at our TV channel to find out who the new Supreme Grand Sheik is that he got to deal with. But we're not thinking on that level. See, and that's why we have no peace because we have no structured government that is there to protect us. You have various different ideologies. You got people who live in the hadiths, or, or excuse me, the oral statements, and don't even touch the Moorish Holy Quran. 
you know? So our, our, our way of thinking as Moorish Americans is garbled. So when do we sit down and ungarble it? When do we, uh, when, when do we untie the spaghetti strings? When do we straighten things out? When do we put some structure to who we say we are? I'm still waiting That's for you, man. To, brother. I'm still, I'm, I'm waiting. I was listening intently. I still don't get what your response has to do with my question. Brother, I said time I, for the next time. I said, I don't know. And you asked me, did I, did I think it was amalgamation if he did it? And I said, yes. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe I answered the question, sir. You said, okay. So, so you believe that if it took place, which it did, then the prophet went against his own law. I mean, that's what you say. No, 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 you're voting in somebody else. Yeah, you said yes, power. brother. Yeah, yeah, you did say yes. You did say yes. Thank you me. did say yes, brother. You said yes. You said yes. I didn't put words. Prophet in your went mouth. against his own law. Yeah, I didn't put words in your mouth, bro. You did say yes. Yeah, that, brother, and, and that's my misunderstanding. If if the truth comes out, that'll be my and I'll and I'll eat it. But it, it has to it has to be revealed to me. Yeah, I've been in here over two decades, but I'm still a baby. I'm still not above learning. Well, here, here, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assist. Five years ago, I asked you this question, and your answer was, "Wow, I never knew that that took place." But well, yeah, that was five years ago. Obviously, you've not done your due diligence to figure out, figure it out one way or the other. It wasn't important to me. Gotcha. Well, I will put it in your lap tonight before you go to bed. I'll probably put it on the shelf because it's not important to me. The prophet in the 1920s participating in the voting situation. I don't know what his thinking was. I don't know what his mission was or what his strategy was. But in 2024, I have no place for that thinking. Okay, more Islam, real quick. Brother Sharif, <laughs> with asking that brother, with asking that question, brother Sharif, brother Sharif, with, with asking that question mm -hmm. to the brother posing that question yes. what was your point exactly the point is this i, I to put it simply and, I, and i'm not being and and, and for, to put it simply i'll quote a famous actor in a famous movie right and 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 and, and based on what the brother just said this is not offensive because he's saying well if that took place then you know what i ain't got time for that kind of thinking i'm on something else i'm on some other time got it so I'll quote Denzel Washington in the movie American Gangster. Call it what you want. Just don't call it blue magic. <laughs> I feel you, brother. So now, you know, it reminds me of our last Holy Day call. A brother from Tunisia came on the call and told us we weren't Muslims and we weren't practicing Islam. And although Brother Akeem answered his questions, once that and once that question was answered, he went on to another subject matter until I, who really don't have the best of, of, of um patience, um told the brother he was disrespectful for interrupting our holy day call for 45 minutes, trying to push his ideologies about al Islam on us like. We don't have a religion. So, like I said, until I get proof, you can't push anything on me. If it's not in the Moorish Holy Quran, if it's not in the divine constitution and bylaws, the additional laws, or the doctrine, chapter, verse, sentence, paragraph, then I will question it. Can I refresh your memory on, a, on something? Yes, sir, please. All right. I quoted earlier a few minutes ago, Act 4 and Act 5 of the Divine Constitution and Bylaws. You said that your interpretation of that is that when he says said government, he's talking about the Moorish government. Am I correct? Yes. 
I asked you, what is that? You said the Morris Divine National Movement. Am I correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you remember our last conversation on New York perspective when I asked you to prove that the Morris Divine National Movement is the Morris government? And your response was, that's what I heard. No, I read it. Where? In the prophet's warning, the letter should be read at every meeting, February nineteen twenty nine. Not there. And we had a, we had a discussion about that because the rendition you had didn't have that last paragraph, and I read that last paragraph. But I the prophet said that when he was at the, uh, the the inauguration, he didn't say that he represented the Moore Science Temple. The Moorish Holy Temple of Science, the old Canaanite temple. He mm -hmm. said he, he was there representing the Moorish divine and national movement. Now, brother, there's nothing wrong with that. And he also said the Moorish divine national movement during the time when the name Moorish Science Symbol of America was in use because they were synonymous, brother. Is not that separate. of that? Hold, 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 on, hold on, hold on. They're not separate. And I had asked you even in a previous show to show me, to show me proof that the term Moorish Divine National Movement is distinct from the Moorish Science Temple of America, and that is the Moorish government. Show me. Well, I don't see Moorish Divine and National Movement on the affidavit that was placed on Cook County, Illinois. I don't see it on there. Where do you see it? In the doctrine I just quoted. Yeah. But that says nothing about it being the Moorish government. Where is it incorporated or established? What up? Show me. If an official shows up at a political jurisdiction and with all governments, when you present yourself, you present your name and the government you represent. And that doctrine at the inauguration of the governor, it says that the prophet represented us as the Moorish divine and national movement. Yeah, I'm just going by prayer. what the literature I that we you. read every Friday and mm -hmm. Sunday says. I got, you. I got you. Nowhere does that say it's the government, brother. Nowhere. Right. So show nah. me. Where is it? Show me. It's an implication. If he said that's what he represents... Did he that's go to the I, inauguration brother, uh, representing the Boy Scouts? Brother, that's all like, I needed to hear. It's an so, so you're basing your philosophy of the teachings on an implication? Me? Yeah. Not when it's in black and white, dear brother. Where is it in black and white? The letter that should be read at every meeting. We read it every Friday and Sunday. Where does it say now that? Now, who? Now, who? Now, now. Now, who who wrote it? Brother. I don't brother, know. Brother, where? But we the, read this every Friday and Sunday, brother. Brother, where does that document say that that is the government? The government more, the government more. Where? Where? It is, it is implied because he said that he represented the Moorish Divine and National Movement. Where what else would it, that be, brother? Brother, using all five of your senses, what else would that be? Where's the brother? Where listen, you're so asking what's the end of our government, sir. You're asking people to literally rest their belief on an implication. Implication. No, not really. Not really. You know, things are said. And they lead to different things. If I, that's like me, all right? As a martial artist, if I go to a martial arts function, I go under the auspices of the Triple Fist Chaos Martial Arts Society. That is the governing body of our particular martial arts a society. When was it established? Our society, 1989. Yes. Where? Uh, Springfield, Mass. What people did it? Myself. Yes, sir. And eight other martial artists. Outstanding. How was it done? 
It was done at a meeting. Certificates were signed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and proclamations were put in place. Mm -hmm. in show me this, now, place. show me the exact same process or similar process for the Moorish Divine National Movement as a government. As show a me. government. Show me. It's not there, Brother Sharif. I know it's not there because I used to believe it too. Because the person that first started that rumor was a man named Rasadi Hill. I, now, I just it. learned that today. Yeah, now you know. I believed it too. But, uh, see, it's hard, but I, when I see it in black and white. See what in black and white? Somebody, what show, show, black me, and white? Show, me, show me the name of our government, brother, because we, we can't be a nation of people without a, a, a title for our government. Our, so government what is United, our government is the United States government, brother. That's what the prophet hey, said. That's what the prophet said. Where did the prophet say that our government is the United States government? I'll be right I didn't back say U.S. Of a, the United States government. Thank y'all. Thank for the viewers. Thank you for it. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'm just a little silent. Just letting you guys do your thing. My thing is that unity under one flag. We all fighting for the same thing. Let's just come to an agreement. It's okay to Ready? disagree. Well, this is where it happened. And once again, we're talking about two different eras in time. You're talking about the United States Corporation or the United States Republic. Because you have a, you can't have a constitution and be a part of the United States Corporation. That's a corporation. Washington, D.C. don't have a constitution. That's my understanding, brother. Islam, I was trying to figure out, like, I got lost there because I'm trying to get to the get to the point. Brother Sharif, you got to make the point. Make the point, brother, because, we, you know, we got to get, we, it's going to get lost. Here we go. Ready? There's a host of jealousy. Um, hold on. Yeah, I'll pull it up here. This is one of the, one of the, memos warnings to be read at every meeting do, 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 let me pull it up i mean there's so many there's so many places it's like where do i begin but here's one i'll just i'll just i'll go here i'll start here i'll start here hold on three letters to be read at the end of each meeting all righty here we go to be proclaimed in every meeting it's long I'm glad to know that I have a few faithful Moors among you all, and I desire for them to know the truth and the divine truth. There is a host of jealousy about me in the movement now by the same people on our side of the nation that claimed it was only a joke and unreal. But now since they have found out from the government officials and the nations of the earth that this is the only sole foundation that all Asiatics must depend upon for their earthly salvation as American citizens. They are working every scheme that they can to disqualify me so they themselves may take charge of the situation. That's one. Let's go. We got one more. What's one? I didn't say any, I didn't hear anything about the United States because an American is not a United States citizen. Prove that. I didn't hear anything about the United States. No, 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 no. no. Prove that. You said you're going to show me where it says United States. Brother yeah. J Jelani, J Brother Jelani, just let him let him flow. And then so then you could come and, and, and then rebuttal it. Because now people are lost. People don't know what's going on. Welcome you know, to the club. Please proceed. Here we go. This is the prophet. Divine warning for the prophet for the nations. I am hereby calling on all true citizens that stand for free national government and the enforcement of the Constitution to help me in my great missionary work because I need all support from all true American citizens of the United States of America. Help me to save my people who have fallen from the constitutional laws of this government 
I am depending on your support to get them back to the constitutional fold again, that they may learn or will learn to love instead of hate and live according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, supporting our free national constitution of the United States of America. Okay, once again, you said United States. United States of America and United States are two different jurisdictions. No, they're not. That's what you brother, said. Brother, brother, watch this, watch this, watch this. I want to I want to share something real quick. Brother, one is constitional, the other one is brother corporate. Ron. Yeah, I'm let's listening. Set up and, and let's set up, and you know I never do this, but this is an important topic. United States versus United States of America. Corporation versus republic. Let's set up a debate on your platform on this topic. Negative. I don't debate. It doesn't have to be you because there's other people that, 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 that support this. So we'll pick somebody. Okay. Praise the Lord. But that's another one. But, but, but in, in, here's the point, though, Brother Jelani. Here's the point. Neither one of those are Moorish government, are they? No, no, it is Thank it points more to the jurisdiction. Neither See, one because of religion is automatically constitutional. Islam, a, a Mikey Fever, Islam. Can can you read what Brother Ray Bay is saying? Because a uh, Ray, Ray, Brother Ray Bay is is asking. Give me a second. I got you. Neither one, brother. Neither one of those is a more is Moorish government. I agree. It says, hold on. It says supporting our free national constitution of the United States of America. The problem was very specific. It didn't say supporting our own Moorish government. Didn't say that. It says supporting our free national constitution of the United States of America. Why? You're missing the point, bro. The point is, is that he's talking about part and partial of the more of the United States of America, bro. Yeah. Islam brothers, pardon and me. And that's clear. And that's clear. Um, Ray Bay said Sharon. Read chapter 48, instructions number four. Then he says, Sharif, read chapter 48, instruction number four. Yeah. That's what yeah. he wants to read. More science symbol of America is a um, lawfully organized, uh, I'm sorry, lawfully um, um, chartered and incorporated organization. That's what 48.4 says. <laughs> right, right. I forgot about that. Incorporated <laughs> where? In Morse government? Hold on. Incorporated where in the Morris government? All right. You know what they told me at the Secretary of State? I asked them about in Connecticut is stock, non-stock, and non-stock religious. They told me about all the reports and the, and the fees paid in, in stock and non-stock. When it came to non-stock religious, they said upon the original registration, after that, we don't have to give them our our change of address. We don't have to report to them no more. Because what that what that did and what the prophet did was put them on notice that he is there. Then the Secretary of State told all the other corporations this entity is there. I got that from the Secretary of State. And every time we put a religious corporation in place, they start sending us catalogs and, and credit cards, applications, and we didn't apply for these things, but the Secretary of State put the state on notice, and then they then started soliciting us. But other than that, we don't report to the United States, uh, we don't report to the Secretary of State. We don't, we don't, we don't have any relationship with them, then putting them on notice that they we're there. Brother, and that's because brother. we've done it 12 times. Dear, dear brother, let me tell you something. What, the, what you're describing right there happens to every single person who incorporates a corporation from another state. That ain't nothing new. It's called a foreign corporation relative to the state that you're operating in. Let's think podcast is going <laughs> on. <laughs> a religious corporation and those other corporations are not the same thing. You because of the First Amendment, to the United States uh, uh, to the United States uh, 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 Constitution. You're missing the point, bro. What you just yeah, described, I, I happened, be, brother. What but, you just, just go ahead. No, no, please. You you go ahead, Elder. What you just described happens to anyone who is operating in a particular state 
under a corporation that comes from another state. You talking about a foreign corporation, brother? That, that's all it is. Regardless. No, brother, because we do we have domestic and we have foreign corporations, brother, and I, it's the same thing. We no, don't report to nobody. But see, but see, we're talking about. We're, first of all, what do you mean you don't report to anybody? We what don't, does that after mean? we after we establish it? Mm -hmm. We get no correspondence from the Secretary of State. We get no correspondence from the government. Mm -hmm. It is acknowledged that it is a religious corporation in town mm -hmm. and there's legislation saying that we're responsible for the organization of our own local government. You got to show me that. I don't believe that. Because there is no government. First of all, show me. I in that you know, you show me, you show me. Cool. But let me tell you right now. Texas would have long done that. That's true. What what's going on right now? They are okay. Get my point. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Texas would have long done it. Matter of fact, that's all. Matter of fact, they wouldn't have to do anything. They're already a state. To add on to what Joe I'm trying to say, how can you know? As a lot of some Moors do believe in that, where you know they want to be a nation within a nation, right? They do. And I know the, we are. Have to work. Hold on, hold on, Mikey. Let me say mm -hmm. this: We are a nation within a nation. Okay, of course. But that, but but that, but but that means something. It's not what people think it means. Of course, there's a lot of nations within a nation. But I think he wants a se separation of government, or right. probably they are misconstruing or conflating the 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 fact that they see Hasidic Jews have their own, you know, Hasidic religious Jews, laws. Yes, sir. Now you you're from Brooklyn, bro, so you yeah. see it all the time. Yeah, of course. Right? Okay. Yeah. Do you think the Hasidic Jews are uh, immune from civil authority? Look at what just happened recently. Oh, with the whole COVID thing, yeah. They, they, they. they what about what about the raid? What about the raid on the one synagogue? Oh, yeah, with the, with the tunnels. With the tunnels, yeah. 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 So how in the world are they immune to the civil authority? Mm -mm. No, they get arrested too. Yeah. They tax, go in front of the courts thing. too. It's tax dollars. They just work collectively and pay for you know. <laughs> there you go, bro. That's all it so, is. So, so don't. That, that's not true. Oh well, the city Jews have their own government and their own police and they, nah. You from they bro, Mikey? You're from Brooklyn. They got their own you, know, and everything. you know, Mikey. You're from Brooklyn. You know better. Islam, real quick. The brother Jelani did say the brother Jelani has a point when it comes to them having like their own kind of like policing force and yes, you know. So yes. what's th what is that then, brother? That's in conjunction with the civil authority. Understand? Yeah. You, I'll put it to you. You understand? That's like in Chinatown. Go to Chinatown. Go to Chinatown. You see it? But guess what's in Chinatown on Elizabeth Street? A police precinct that says NYPD. See my point? Mm -hmm. right. It's in conjunction. In other words, it's socio... The, the, the interface or, or, the, or the separation and the distinction is sociocultural, people. That's why there's a German town. That's why there's a little, a, a little Italy. That's what it's sociocultural. Little Italy don't got Italian police. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. It Can does. I read? Please. Connecticut General Statutes uh, 598-33-264J. Nothing in this part shall conscrew as limiting or restricting the rights, powers, privileges, immunities, or the practice of any church or religious society established or incorporated prior to October 19, 1969 under this chapter or under any other law or special charter of the state, nor as requiring any such church or religious society to alter or change any rules of discipline, customs, or usage in respect to its policy or government. Mm -hmm. nor as interfering with the lawful acquisition, purchase, use, management, conveyance, sale, or other disposition of any property, real or personal, owned mm -hmm. or held on said date for public religious worship or otherwise by any such church or religious society, nor as interfering with the lawful receipt 
of any grants, donations, funds, and trust or otherwise for yes. any charitable, educational, or ecclesiastical purposes, including right. but not limited to the public religious worship and missionary purposes by any such church or religious society, nor as interfering with the right of any such church or religious society to have succession by its corporate name for the time stated and in its articles of association or its incorporation and when time is stated perpetually to mm -hmm. sue and be sued and mm -hmm. complain and defend in any court to mm -hmm. have and use a corporate seal and alter the same at pleasure to elect mm -hmm. in such manners as it may determine all necessary officers and mm -hmm. to define their duties and obligations and to make reasonable bylaws for its government, mm -hmm. the regulations of ecclesiastical affairs and the management of property, including mm -hmm. the holding, purchasing, selling, conveying, or such property, real or personal, which right. it may have taken in payment of or as security for debts due, it, due to it. Right, right. Uh, I've heard government a couple of times, brother. Yeah, of course. Toys R Us has a government, bro. It's a corporation. Oh, man, on, now, no, no, no. Stop, I'm not being, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on, hold on. I'm not, brother, I'm not being facetious. But I'm, you know, I'm glad he thought that was funny. But check this out. Everything he said and everything he read, I agree with 100%. But here's the problem. In this country, we have what's called separation of church and state, right? Don't, do we know what separation of church and state means, people? First of all, everything that the brother said, I agree with 100%. Because it's talking about within the context of religious organization. And there is government because you have authority within a corporation, within a religious organization, or any other type of organization. But guess what you don't have? Nowhere in your religious organization in its bylaws, in its creation, does it cover civil authority or superseding civil authority? It operates within the confines of its design. It does not operate outside of that. And that law and the laws that you just read are 100% in conformity with that fact. But it doesn't say that. You just read it. No, it said it's government, its own government. Brother. It didn't say nothing about civil authority. Brother, it's really government. It. Well, see, see, that's what I mean about chapter and verse. Yo, bro, can I finish? I'm going to read it for what it is. I'm not going to add lip but, Brother Jelani, just, just let him finish, brother. Just let him, let him finish his point. Bro, you say cut me off, man. I apologize, brother. People think that they see the word government and that means, oh, we're independent of another government. That's a problem. That's a problem. They see the word government. Oh, that means we can just do everything that every other government does. No, you can only do what's within the confines of the structure of your organization. Let me repeat that. You can only operate within the parameters of the purpose of your organization. I'm going to say it one more time. You can only operate within the parameters of your organization. And one other thing. There is absolutely no law that exists. No law that exists in this country in the United States of America, whether you want to call it a corporation, republic, or whatever, that allows a state to create an entity greater than itself or independent of itself. There is none. Nowhere in the legislation that I read did it say anything about an organization. It said church or society not organization. Let me and reword it, my it, it, society. Right. 
is responsible for organizing its own government. I'm not going to read into that because that's the legislation of the state. They knew what they was doing when they wrote it or they would have said, uh, with the exception of civil authority. Okay. See? So, so I'm just reading what it says. Okay. So watch this, watch this. There's no laws in this country in any state that allow for a society to do the same thing. A society to do what? To create to do, for the creation of a society that would be independent of the state or superior to the state. If that was the case, there would have been no civil war. The South would have ceded peacefully and there would be the Confederate States of America and the United States of America, but the What's United States went about to, those organizations. But the United States went to war to preserve the Union and cannot even acknowledge that the Confederate States existed as a sing, as an independent entity because Congress doesn't have the power to do so. In the congressional record, it's not called the Civil War. It's called the Rebellion. What does it have to do with religion? It's society and government. This is what it has to do with religion, brother. We have separation of church and state. That doesn't make that doesn't make religion and state equal and independent. You need to study the doctrine of the separation of church and state. It does not make religion equal and independent to the state. It doesn't. It just means that religion cannot inform affairs of state. That's what it means. So when it says Congress shall make no law with respect to religion or the practice and establishment thereof, what does that mean? Exactly what I just said. It means exactly what I just said. That religion does not overshadow the state. Forgive me. I, 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 my reading comprehension must be off. But when I read that, it tells me that the state, when it comes to somebody's religious beliefs and practices, cannot make policy to override the laws of their God. Yeah, it does mean that too. But what does your religious society have to do with civil authority? Nothing. We supposed hey. to have our own. No, 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 no. You don't have your own civil authority. Okay, we don't have it because Moors have not created it. No, you don't have it, brother, because it already exists. Brother, who did you, you have to file? Somebody... Who did you have to file with? Who did you have to file with, brother? Your your stuff. Who'd you file with? Now, the before you answer the state. question, hold on. Before you answer the question, keep in mind that it's public information. It's public information. Who did you have to file with? Secretary of State. Put him on notice. So why? Bro? No, no, you didn't put him on notice. You incorporated, brother. It's not put on notice. You incorporated. It's public notice. You're a not-for-profit organization. What? We're, we're what the prophet put in place, a religious corporation. I just told you that the woman told me that other than putting it on the record, there is no other responsibility to the state. Brother, you I didn't make that up. Brother, a state brother, official brother, said that. Brother, you didn't file an affidavit. You incorporated. I, I mean, I understand. I mean, I, I, guess, I guess you in spirit was there with me. Brother, you filed an incorporation document, brother. You incorporated. You incorporated. Brother, that's that's what you say. But even if it is an incorporation, as in a religious corporation, we were told that that religious corporation has no relationship to the Secretary of State after filing. That's what you were told. That's what I was told. All right, bro. And we've done it 12 times. Okay. Let's talk.
taught martial arts. Tell me about Moyinka. Well, well, the martial arts conversation, we're gonna have to run that next week, man. Because you know, this is normally an hour. Every show is an hour. Every show is an hour. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if uh y- you you want to continue or or you're done there. It seems like uh it's like a it's like a stalemate at that point there. I'm done, my brother. It's a, it's a great, you know what I'm saying, dialogue. I learned, you know what I'm saying, both brothers are from both sides of the sphere. Here, they have here's, philosophical here's my, views, I, I, you know, and they want to you know, go further. We can, you know, we can we can even argue as Muslims, but that's the thing. Got to be Muslims. You know, this cutting off and disrespect and facetiousness, that's, that's out. I don't do yeah. that. That's out. Yeah. Well, well, I'm, well brother, you know, uh, if I did, brother, I apologize. I'm, I'm just very zealous about my point, and I and I apologize humbly. Um, but uh, you know, I uh, this is you know this is not our first bout, and um, in previous uh, uh, bouts, those bouts will never happen again. You know, so um, I apologize if I cut you off, dear brother. I have a much respect for you. You know what I'm saying? We've known each other for years. So there's no love lost. Like I said, I have respect, enough respect for you as a Sifu and as a Grand Sheik because you are very knowledgeable. I've watched your debates over and over again. You've always crushed your opponents. So, you know, if you think I cut you off disrespectfully, I apologize for the record. I was just trying to defend my dean. That's all. All right, that's that was peace. Uh, like I said earlier, you know, this was uh, just like I had um, what's the name, uh, brother Arnil Bay come in when Sharif was on. It was just a spur of the moment. Arnil Bay was in. I said, hey, just come on. So for me, this is just like Jelani, come on in. He helped us build the platform, just like the brother Sharif in the beginning. So hey, come on in. It's Moorish Monday. Let's build. Why not? <laughs> hey, brother, Fever, that cat was like, shots fired. Pew, pew. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, killed him. Oh, you know, he was like the hype man. <laughs> now, all love and peace to both, bro. Who was the hype man, though? Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, y'all, y'all know that. <laughs> Who was the hype man, though? What do you, what do you... Headshot. Headshot. That's what Who? he was saying throughout the Oh, oh you talking about Arnell Bay. <laughs> 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 it's all love man it's all love really i enjoyed this segment um and maybe we can do that segment brother brother ron because it's very important you what, know what? because um you know nobody talks to me they talk around me so when you came to me with that i said enough is enough we're going to address that oh you talking about your situation with the the, the- yeah but the thing we was talking about before, yeah, yeah, you know that's yeah, because I mean, everything we're doing, we're doing for the people. So you have smelly culprits out there that don't want nothing done for the people. You see what I mean? They really don't. So they'll 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 communicate trash. You know, there's always two sides of a story: his side, his side, and the truth. So when you brought to brought that to me. I want to bring the truth. Hear my side of the story. Now, the thing about it is what we're talking about. I don't really want to talk about on this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, why I'm, that's why I'm being on, on this On this episode, but, um, you know, if you want to do something like that, which I don't really want to do, really, you know what I mean? Okay. But, then we'll leave it alone because... Um, but if you want to, if you want to, because my thing is like this, I don't want to cause no issues. So, like, if you want to do something like that, you can't be the only one to talk. You know what I'm saying? So the so people who may disagree with what you're saying are gonna have to be on too. You know what I'm saying? But uh, exactly. I would love to see these people who have the disagreement. Everybody hiding like doggone, you, you know, like 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 uh you know, ghouls and stuff like that, brother. Mm-hmm. Because if you have a problem with me, communicate it with me. But don't tell everybody falsehood about me. And then when I come out and go, okay, look, let's address this. You know, let's step to me. 
let's see what it is. And then nobody's around. Don't nobody want to step up. Cause I got horror stories from these moors. Well, that's a that's a whole nother that's a whole nother that's energy. A whole nother name, so, that's that's a whole like nother energy in episode. Segment. Um, it was very educational. And um, um, seafood a grand sheet. Um, my email address is seafoodjelanibay at gmail dot com. Uh, please send me any type of literature, or anything, so I can read over, sir. So you know I can get an understanding, overstanding, and understanding. I welcome it with open arms. I mean, I'm going to send it to you because I said I was going to send it to you, but you said out of your own mouth that basically you might as well wipe your backside with it because you're going to sit it on the shelf and think what you think anyway. But I'm going to send it, though. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always for my improvement. I, 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 I just never, you know, send it to me, please. I'll read it. I'll check it out. You know, we'll, 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 we'll do a Friday or Sunday call on it. You know, because we, we don't run from information, brother. That, that's what it's all about. This the age of Aquarius, man. You know, we got to know. And Islam, we got to take action. Islam, so I want to cut the show. Peace to everybody, man. Thanks for coming out, viewing us. We really appreciate it. See you uh, live Wednesday, 7 o'clock. Peace.